Hello, is this thing on? Okay, good. How is everybody? Who's here? Jen's dancing down there. Revival Fitness is here. Glenn Coco, Kaylee, Jacob Akey, thanks for the, uh, the super chat. Asks, did we beat last week's record for viewers? We came just a little bit short. We needed uh, 28 and change to beat it. I had my eye on it. I was, I was hoping. TC, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Jimmy, uh, your hand is up. What can we do for you? Great episode. Always happy to get the notification that you're posting. How's at the moon? Thanks for checking it out tonight. Yeah, I like that story. But, uh, you know, I'm into weird moon stories. But, I, you know, what was really hard, because kids watch this channel now, what was really hard was when, uh, when they find that, that gooey substance called golden tears, it was really hard for Hecklefish not to make a golden showers joke. It, it really was. But uh, we, took, we took the high road. Carl, hello. Carlos Guzman, can you do more alien videos, please? I mean, I do one or two a month. Um, I'd like to do fewer, <laughs> uh, not that I don't mind them. I like the alien stories. I just don't want, I don't want to be the alien channel. I don't want to be the UFO channel. Definitely don't want to be the Bigfoot channel. I just want it to be cool stories. Uh, they don't all have to be weird. 
but I, I guess they do. I mean, if that's what you, that's what you guys want. Trust the process. Five sixty one ghost stories. Um, yeah, ghost stories are hard for for the channel because you know I since I don't believe in ghosts, that's that's one thing. But it, it it's not really a horror channel. But with the uh, with the what files coming up, which is going to be true crime, you know maybe I don't know if that fits there. I don't know if that's paranormal. I don't know if we're going to do paranormal over there. But uh, there are a couple of ghost stories in the hopper that I have that I've just kind of been sitting on, like um, electronic contact from the grave is what they are. So people getting phone calls from from dead loved ones. There's a couple of really good stories. There's that, there's a guy in, uh, in, in the LA area that, uh, was on Amtrak or something and the train got derailed and killed a whole bunch of people. And this guy, he was killed on impact, but his phone just started calling all his, his girlfriend, his, his parents, uh, I think his brother. And, um, yeah, and no one could really explain it. And there, there are a couple of stories like that. And not just, hey, the phone rang, because that could be anything. There are, there are voicemails that have been recorded that we can listen to from people that are dead, that are, that are super scary. And I found a story on Reddit that was really scary that was um, a guy getting Facebook Messenger chats from his dead girlfriend. And, uh, you know, it's probably a hoax. I mean, of course it's a hoax. But it was just the way it was told on Reddit was just super fun and scary. So those are there. Just kind of waiting to do those. All right, I see there's some, some super chats in the hopper. We've got Dinks is here. For seven ninety nine Australian, thank you, Dinkum. That was another great episode. Just over twenty seven thousand watched live. Congrats, AJ and Jen. You two are awesome. Well, thank you very much, Dinkum. Dinkum's been here a long, long time since the very early days of the channel. Those um, the halcyon days of really clunky videos. Dinkum has been supporting ever since, so I appreciate that. Jacob Aki or Aki Aki, five dollars. Did we beat last week's record for viewers? We did not. We came a little bit short. Maybe by 500. What I noticed is people started, not a lot of people, but people started dropping off the premiere once I got to the sort of the, the debunking part of the story. So we didn't lose a lot, but we, we lost a few hundred. Because it kind of builds up during the story. Like if I do a 15, 18 minute video, it's going to be hard to get a ton of people watching live because everyone not everyone is waiting like we are they get the notification they check the email they click it you know it takes a while so it just builds up and builds up and builds up so the longer videos have the better chance hang on we got some eye boogers so the longer videos have a better chance of of hitting the record Richard K. Lit, lit, oh, lit Alien, I remember you from last week. $20, thank you for that. Love the show. Just so you know, I'm not a writer. Please take, take time, time, sometime, take time off. Waiting for Art Bell Graveside visit. visit. Uh, yeah, Richard, we're going to do that. I, I do need some time off, and we have a couple of writers submitting stories. I haven't had a chance to look at them yet. I know that if, if I take a week off, that you guys will be fine. In fact... I doubt anyone would really notice, you know, maybe hardcore fans would notice that there was no video on a Thursday, but uh, most people wouldn't notice and no one really cares. You know, since this is my channel, this is the, this is the, f the center of my universe. And as people, we kind of, we kind of feel like, well, everyone feels the same way we do. So everyone's thinking, everyone in the world is thinking about the Y files all the time, but it turns out nobody's, nobody's thinking about the channel anytime. So if a video shows up, people are going to watch it. They're not going to be annoyed that I was gone. The issue is the algorithm. It's YouTube. It's, uh, you know, if I, we, we, in the analytics, we can see daily, like daily graphs. And when I, uh, when I post the Thursday premiere, we have a spike and then every day it goes down a little bit. And then 
Thursday, we go back up and it's, and it's just kind of that cycle. So if I skip a week, it'll just keep dropping down. And we get enough views that we can sustain that for a while, but then you have to kind of just crawl your way back up. Because I've taken breaks before, and YouTube just doesn't really, it's not that forgiving. You know, they will start promoting you again, but, it, but not, as, not as aggressively as they were before. You know, the algorithm thinks like, well, you know, he, he wasn't there, so, uh, you know, maybe they can't. They, they don't they don't trust that we're gonna gonna be consistent you know I don't know but I've been told by enough people especially a couple on in inside YouTube that consistency is is one of the most important factors with the algorithm you know engagement certainly views certainly but YouTube just really likes people just to be there um where did that where was I Jeffrey, Jeffrey J. Bridges, good to see you again, Jeffrey, $10. AJ, Thursdays are quickly becoming my fave night of the week. They're, they're, they're not mine, <laughs> Jeffrey. They're, my, they're, they're the most stressful, that's the most stressful night of the week, but I'm, I'm glad you're having fun. Uh, love watching the premiere and After Files. Uh, sick editing, thanks, man, I appreciate that. Question, do you believe in ghosts? No, I don't. What is your take? Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't believe in ghosts, but... But even though I'm a, I'm a skeptic, I'm extremely open-minded about it. So if suddenly science discovered that ghosts were – hey, when you guys, when you guys switch those messages on me, it's, it's distracting. Maybe just leave them. Just leave them up until I finish. Um, where was I? So, yeah, so if scientists just discovered that, that ghosts were maybe electromagnetic energy and they're real, I would be like, oh, well, that's cool. You know, I wouldn't – be weird about it. I'm not a hardcore skeptic. I just, you know, I have not seen enough compelling evidence. And the videos and pictures I, I've seen are just the ones you guys have seen. You know, it's a it's a floating orb in a picture. Okay, that could be anything. I admit there's some creepy photos out there, but I, I want the I want the, the the video. You know, the the video taken with someone's phone that's like right there. It's not blurry. It's not. Uh, you know the the wispy bride floating through the trees. You know, not like an not like an Ed Warren video. If you guys know who Ed Warren is, Crystal Metherson. Uh, sounds like something we used to sell behind the high school. Four ninety nine, amazing, and a rug pull as expected. Would love full on Challenger recovery episode. Challenger's got some good stuff. There's the um. The Challenger conspiracy that says that all those people are still alive. Hey, look at that. So uh, thanks to Paul for a couple of great suggestions on the live stream. So uh, so if you, if you have story ideas, and I know a lot of you do, the best way to get them in is with that link up there, the yfiles.com slash tips. If you put them here in the chat, we can talk about them for sure, but I'm going to forget that you recommended it. If you, if you go to that link, then, um, then I, I see everything. So, and, and if you do submit something there, if you can include an article or a video or something to get us started, that, that would be great. So the challenger, there, there's that conspiracy that the people are still alive. And there are side by side, I think I, I think I showed this last week on the stream, side by side photos of the people that were on challenger and where they are now. A lot of them have the same last names. They're in the same fields. It's really strange. You know, the thing about the, about the Challenger is that the command module or the, the, compa the command compartment where, where they were was secured well enough that they survived that explosion. They died, on, they died when they hit the ocean. You know, that's crazy to me. What a, that's a rough way to go because, you know, <laughs> you're, you're riding a rocket up there. It explodes. You're aware of it. And now you've got, I don't know, a, a good number of seconds before you hit the ocean. That's, that's really scary. Big A48, thank you for the $2. Thinks that was a great show. I'm glad you liked it. I thought that was a fun story. Um, most of the, Someone asked this in, in the premiere chat. I'll get to you in a second, Jason. Yeah, most of those videos that I showed in, in tonight's episode, those, those were 
those were like the videos that are part of the urban legend. Not the ones where it's Neil Armstrong walking down the, the ladder, obviously, but, but the, uh, you know, obviously the alien, the alien mask that, that, that was that video. And, uh, really most of them, I, he has like the Speth theory, Speth. He has about 15, maybe 20 videos up. I think I linked I linked to his his book on Kindle, and if you read the book on Kindle, he he links out of Kindle to his YouTube channel, which is super helpful. Um, so I included a few of those videos. When you guys put the put put the names on and turn them off, it's distracting. Just leave them sit for a second. So some of his videos were were great, and I showed them, but most of them were just they were just dog shit. They were just they were just terrible, and. Um, it, in the in the interview that he did with Chad Baxter, which honestly it it, it wasn't that compelling. Um, I think Chad was he was kind of he was kind of simping out a little bit, you know, telling Speth that he's the one of the greatest modern sci fi writers, you know, in 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 the league of Ray Bradbury and Isaac Asimov. Um, he he's not those things. Clearly, Chad didn't read the book, but. Um, you know, I would have liked to get more, you know, more evidence. I, I don't know what other word to say. You know, more like when he held up the mask, that was that was amazing because it's like ah, there there it is. Otherwise, all the way the whole time, the whole thirty minutes up to that reveal was just him kind of discussing, you know, how he did it. So I'm watching it, watching him going, yeah, that's cool, but I don't know if I believe you. You know, Hecklefish doesn't trust the French. I, you know, I don't really either. So I don't know if I believe him. And then he pulls the mask out and says, aha. And it's definitely, it's definitely the same alien. Like I did side by side. I, I brought it into Photoshop and, and layered it like with 50% opacity to match up the features. It's definitely the, the same one. So he said, Speth said that he built a life-size replica of the, uh, the command module in his cellar, which is crazy. And, um, and I think he built chunks of it, but if you look at that webpage, that's, that's linked down there, which is deconstructing Apollo 20, he also used, at least this is what, this is what they say on the, on the, on the website. And I believe it because they matched up the angles. It looks like he went to, like Johnson Space Center Museum and stuck his camera into the like the display module that that they have there. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to turn that that tips that tips off. That's distracting. Um so he stuck his camera in there and used that to grab footage. He also pulled a couple of high res photos off of a couple of college sites that this these guys who who did the debunking were able to were able to grab. But there are parts of of the f the first video, the one that's in the cockpit, that it. I mean, it's really good. I don't. I don't want to nerd out with. I don't want to nerd out too much about the things I saw in it that really were impressive. But um, but Speth said that he built he built the videos mostly with practical effects. So stuff in his basement. He had the latex mask. Uh, he uh, he has one video where where she attacks the astronauts and knocks the camera over and it just it looks terrible i wish it was looked good i would i would have used it but it looked terrible but it's there if you want to check it out um so he used all those practical effects and then he did some 3d work in lightwave 3d I, I you know maybe you have to be an old designer to know what that is but lightwave 3d was that was a an, a program i had Back then, it was programs; they weren't applications. That was a program I had on the Amiga Five Hundred, Lightwave Three D. So that's what he was using in two thousand seven. That's crazy. You would think he'd use like Blender or Cinema Four D or something. It might have, might have looked better. He some of the video, videos were were shaky. Um, all right, Big A, Big A, forty eight for two dollars. I think I got you already, Jason. That's where we were. Fifteen dollars. Thank you for the tip. How did you and Hecklefish find each other? We need a Hecklefish origin story. I've talked about that a little bit, Jason. Um, it's pretty boring. You know, we were putting the show together, and we put out a casting call. His agent reached out to us. 
sent in a tape. The tape was pretty good. It was funny. We did kind of a screen test, a little banter, some riffing, and he was he was able to to keep up. And you know, we decided to book him. You know, we we had Space Panda in the running, but Space Panda didn't really cut it. Nick TD for twenty dollars. I have to say, if anything on TV was half as good as this channel is, writing, production, et cetera, I might still be watching. Excellent work. Thanks, Nick. That's very nice of you to say. I don't know if we're doing TV quality work, but, you know, when, when, I don't think we're doing TV quality production. I'm, I'm trying. I am trying. I try to get the edit as close to TV quality as I can, but, you know, I don't have the budget that the History Channel does. But I feel like our stories are better told here. Um, you know, Ancient Aliens was such a great show in the early seasons, but now they're in like season 22, 23 or whatever. And it feels like they're really stretching. And I, and I feel like that show has kind of lost, lost some of its magic. But um, so I think we do a better job than they do now. There are, there are a few channels that I think do a better job than we do. You know, Mr. Ballin is a great storyteller. I, I, everyone kind of takes their, their cues from him. But, um, but yeah, I, th I, think, I think we tell the stories better. And maybe it's because we have a shorter format. You know, we don't have to fill 44 minutes. I kind of have to keep it as close to 25, 30 minutes as I can. I don't always succeed, but that's kind of my target. That's Jig. 121 for $10. Love your stuff. Keep up the great work. Love from Dallas. Thanks, Dick. Uh, thanks, Jig. We were in Dallas for about a year on Plano, technically. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit for $4.99, $4.99. Viva la Hecklefish. I love you guys. And my wife loves her Hecklefish mug. Awesome. Awesome. I hope you sent that in to the, um, to the In the Wild page, which I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to get, get that up for us. In the Wild. Yeah, that's I, I ate too fast because the stream was coming, and now I'm just I'm belching you in in your ear. It's not. It's just not professional. All right, I, where are you? I'm gonna try again. Come on. Is it there? It's not there. You know, it. it these things always work when, you know, when I'm setting up. Once you're live, it nothing works. Stephen Baudin. Stephen Baudin, Baudin uh, five dollars. I guess it's Baudin, so it's Canadian. Five dollars. Great channel. Did you check out, check into Ren Le Chateau story, a great treasure story in France, with links to, if I recall, the Knights of Templar, Templars. You will. I I haven't seen that one yet, Stefan. But treasure I like, Knights Templar I like. That's the kind of story I'm looking for. So I'll 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 keep my eye out for that. J C Ramos, five dollars super sticker. Thanks, J C. Michael Miller. Four ninety nine. Appreciate that, Michael. Your support really helps, by the way. Really helps keep the channel going. Ryan T, two dollars Canadian. Love your vids. First live stream. Well, welcome aboard. Welcome to the Funny Farm. I, I know I should be drinking out of a branded mug, but this just keeps the coffee colder. But I have them. I have them. I think. Uh, this one's fun, but uh, having my face on it's a little weird. I feel kind of douchey with that, but uh, but a fan made it, so and I thought it was a, a cool artwork. This might be my favorite Fear the Crab Cat. I don't know. I don't know why. Just the the random non sequitur weirdness of that is awesome. And look, if you'd like to have your own Fear the Crab Cat mug, you can get one today by going to shop.thewifefiles.com. Uh, support your favorite YouTube channel. Uh, I was, if you remember last week, I was supposed to raise the prices on these, and uh, Hecklefish called me out on that. I forgot, and I still have not raised, raised the prices. So you'll see other creators, I'm not going to name any this week, because people were calling me out on Twitter, thinking I was attacking another creator, which I wasn't but I'm not going to name any. You'll see other creators have these mugs up for, I don't know, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. That's crazy to me. I think the fear of the crab cat mugs are $11 and we pay like seven. Lee Miller for $5. Any chance of covering Roanoke American horror story has good visuals. That's Lee is someone who watches uh, this live stream. Roanoke. I haven't covered only because I feel like it's been covered a lot. You know, it's been, it's been covered to death. It's, you know, it's been debunked. You know, it's debunkable. 
so it's a good story for us. I just, I don't know if I want to do something that's just been covered so much. Now I say that every week and every week people tell me, uh, Paul just emailed me about this. He told me to you know stop apologizing for it. People tell me that they just want to hear the Y files take on the story. It doesn't matter that it's, that it's been done already. And I think they're right. But again, I'm a slave to the algorithm. I just, I'm too nervous about trying it, especially with the channel finally doing well in the last few months. I'm just afraid to take that chance. You know, so I feel kind of kind of cowardly, kind of like a sellout. But I'm trying to pay the bills. So I think as we move further along, I'll take some chances on those stories. You know, like Skinwalker Ranch, Roanoke, certainly. Um, Bob Lazar keeps coming up some of those, but, but for now, I'm just, I'm just trying to bring new stories to you if, if I can, or at least stories that haven't been covered so much. Um, this story tonight, this came through the tips line. I had never heard of this. I never heard of it. And, um, when they submitted it, this was submitted by a few people, but the most recent person who submitted it attached a YouTube link that I watched before I bought the book, before I found Speth's actual YouTube with, with the full videos. It was just this one video that someone had uploaded and it was mind blowing. Like it looked so real, but, uh, you know, they had clearly taken his video, run it through some filters. They added some grain They made it look kind of like old film. So they made it blurrier. So it, it still looked real, but it, they were, they hid a lot of the, you know, a lot, a lot of the hair that was on the original, because if you look at Speth's original, original videos without all that stuff, it clearly looks like a latex dummy. But as they circulate around the internet, they kind of, you know, they pick up someone, someone rips the video, they add their own flavor. Someone adds to that, adds to that. I mean, I did it tonight. Um, only in the, in the debunking segment that I, did I play his videos the way he posted them. All the other videos of his that were earlier in the video, I, you know, I added a little spice to them to make them look more real. There's Tom Garrett for $5. Great episode. Question. I love those. Of all the conspiracy theories you've seen, which, if any, has the most credibility slash evidence, even if you don't 100% believe it? That's a hard question, Tom, especially on the spot. But um, the hollow moon theory is one that when I started researching it, I thought was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard, that the moon was hollow and all this. And by the time I finished researching it, I was like, you know what? The moon could be hollow. And now I'm, to say I'm on the fence, I, I may not be being honest. I might be on the side that the moon is, is the moon's weird. So that's a, cons that's a conspiracy theory that, that I think has a lot of credibility because there's a lot of scientific evidence to that. And I don't want to rehash the y files video because you can go watch it. But, um, but, but stuff like when they set off a seismic charge on the surface of the moon, how it it just rang like a bell for hours and hours. And, you know, you do that on Earth, that's not what happens. The sound, and the sound as it traveled through the moon was picking up energy. Like if, when, tr when sound travels through the Earth, it loses energy because the Earth is thick. And then you get to the core and you've got, it's molten metal, allegedly. So sound struggles to get through there. But that when the sound hit the inside of the moon, it picked up energy. And that's what happens with a bell. You know, you just got to just knock it gently and it will make a big sound. That's what the moon did. So that's, that's a conspiracy theory. What's, what's she doing? What's Victoria doing? Oh, you, I didn't know. I thought you, maybe you were waving, but no, you were cleaning your camera. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, look at her pajamas. She looks great in her pajamas tonight. That's really nice. Um, Oh, wait, God, I, I still have half of my brain thinking about this, Tom, because there are a couple. You know, I go into I go into most of the stories. Look, I when someone sends something on the tips line, no matter what it is, I go into that story thinking that's definitely not true. And then what I try to do is find what the story is, the conspiracy, and then try to wrap that up into a fun retelling if I can. And then and then go through debunking it if, if I can. 
but the really fun ones are the ones that I go into thinking that they're nonsense and then you just read an article or two and it starts to make make good sense. But conspiracies are weird because true believers can make anything work. You know, go down a rabbit hole with flat earth and I'm telling you, it's fascinating because you, you let those flat earth videos wash over you, you know, on BitChute or Rumble for three or four hours and I walk out of the room like it's it's definitely flat. It's definitely, you know, it they're because they make everything fit. You know, I don't think the earth is flat, but the, but those stories are fun. I'd love to do a flat earth video. I would love to, but we would get, uh, that would be demonetized for, um, per, uh, perpetuating misinformation. Hey, there's Exo dev with a creepy, uh, avatar for dollar 99. Thanks. Exo. Emily Partington, dollar 99. She needs hecklefish merch. <laughs> Like what? You mean like this? A hecklefish for present coffee mug? You can get yours today by going to shop.thewifefiles.com. Support your favorite YouTube channel. They're not expensive. Um, and look, most of the time when they arrive at your house, they're not broken. Most of the time. That's true. Not all the time. Sorry about that. It's not our, it's not our fault. It's, uh, we use Printify and they're doing the best they can. Uh, Paul Aurora, who's the biggest supporter of the channel. And now, and now I'm, I'm going to I'm going to call Paul out a little bit here because he's not going to like what I'm going to say. So in his long email to me with all these suggestions, which were all great. You know, when I get an, e when I get like a, an email and where the subject line is suggestions, I'm like, Oh boy. And then you open the email and it's long. It's like, Oh boy. But his were good. And, um, and because it's Paul, I read them because he throws money at me. Well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm whoring myself out here. So he had some very good suggestions. And one of them was break, break out the, uh, the, in the credits, break out the Patreon members by level so that like black belts were first and so forth, because they black belts donate $50 a month to the channel, which is amazing. Uh, most people are $3 or $7. I'd been putting the names in alphabetically, you know, either A to Z or Z to A kind of switching it up. Just so if you, if you're, a member and you want to see your name in the credits, you know where to look, you know, it's M I, I, we're, we're on K I'm coming up, you know, like that. So to break it out by level, we would, we would kind of lose that. Or I would have to go in and do a lot of work in Excel, which I, I don't want to do. But what you can do from Patreon is you can sort by the total amount donated to the channel over the lifetime of their membership. And as I said, Paul is the biggest supporter of the channel but only he's only the biggest supporter of the channel because of what he does in the live streams with the super chats and stuff. Because when it comes to Patreon, Paul, there is another. You're number two. You're the number two highest donations lifetime. I, I couldn't believe it. You're someone's beating you by I, 10 bucks. But in the credits this week, I dropped his name to number two for you. Okay. It's not going to be an every week thing. I'm just, you know, that's what happened this week. Anyway. Thanks, Paul. Great suggestions. Um, this was Paul's suggestion to put the uh, put the tips line up there because people send so many suggestions. I, I I'm constantly telling them where to submit them, so we put that up there. And then when we do last call later, we'll do that. So so if you're sending in super chats, I don't want you to get annoyed if if I don't get to them. If you know if we're here for over three hours. Uh, this is uh, the best username ever, Quantum Sledgehammer for 1559. Another great episode. Thanks. I love these types of stories, and the UFO Space Conspiracy episodes are my favorite. That's because your Shadow People episode scared the shite out of me. Me too, man. Yeah, that that one that one really kind of scared me. And you know, it, part of the legend is it, if you think about the Shadow People or the Jinn or whatever whatever they are, if you think about them, that's how they appear. So I'm trying not to think of of shadow people because I had the creepy encounter, but how do you not think about a pink elephant, right? See what I did? You see what's on your mind now? Hacksaw is back for four ninety nine. What's your take on the pictures of the Terra Nova expedition to Antarctica led by Captain Robert Scott? I don't think I've seen those yet, Hacksaw. I don't think I've seen those, but you can send those in. I'll take a look. Dustin King four ninety nine. I'm dying for an MIB story. Yeah. A lot of people have asked for that. I just don't know how to tackle it yet because the, the men in black could be so many things. Could, you know, is it, 
is it the is it the government men in black or they're the Illuminati men in black? There's a few different ways to do it. But maybe that's the video. Maybe different types of MIBs. That could be fun. I'm thinking about a video that I did a while ago that I talked about the MIBs a little bit, and I and it's slipping my mind. It might have been the Philadelphia experiment with uh, Carlos Allende, Allende, if I remember correctly, where uh, MIBs actually visited him. Uh, turned out they were Navy intelligence, allegedly. Sarah B for five Australian. Thank you for all you do. Love from Australia. We love Australia. Tech Grub, $2, your top five favorite Art Bell guests. Tech, it's hard enough to come up with one. You want me to do top five? Let me see what I can think of off the top of my head. Dr. Michio Kaku, um, Richard Hoagland, any of the Mel whole videos, uh, episodes, the one where the guy was flying his private plane over Area 51 and the fighters were chasing him, that was a great one. He, he was just the one episode. And um, I hate to even say it, but the Richard Doty episodes are good. Richard Doty, if you don't know, is the guy who worked for OSI, which is uh, Air Force Intelligence, who created a misinformation campaign that infected the UFO community and infects it still. But later said that everything he said about UFOs is true. Roswell, the two Roswell landings too, he said. A lot of, he confirmed a lot of what Bob Lazar talks about, all that stuff. So Richard Doty was always fun on Art Bell. And back then I didn't know Richard Doty was the misinformation guy. I thought he was a whistleblower. So those episodes were fun. And Richard Hoagland, if you guys don't know, back then he was um, the proprietor of the Enterprise Project, which is a website. And he was the he was the first guy really to bring attention to the the pyramid on, pyramid on Mars, the face on Mars, all that stuff around Cydonia, that, that part of Mars. Hoagland was the first guy to kind of bring that stuff to me. I was going to say mainstream, but it was mainstream to us, you know, us watching this. But yeah, that was Richard Hoagland and Michio Kaku, Dr. Kaku's, he's great in everything. He's, uh, yeah, I was going to attack another communicator. I had no need to do that. Micah Graves, $5. I love this channel. My favorite vids are the weird ones, paranormal and alien. Cool. Cool. I like those too. I think the ancient mysteries are my favorite though. Like, uh, pyramids and stuff. I really like that stuff. Bopper 416. I'm not familiar with that particular book of the Talmud. 499. What's that white stuff that flakes off rockets during launch? It's called rocket dandruff. Everybody knows that. Ice paint. I've always wondered. It's ice. It's ice, actually. Because the, the tanks have liquid nitrogen and liquid O2. So it's just condensation freezes on there. And that's one of the reasons why Challenger went down is because is, is of icing. Emily Partington, 499 Super Sticker. Hey, Emily. Good to see you. Nancy Zito, 49.99. Here we go. Human. I want you to know I said human. Thank you for all the dough. Tipping. As I'm sure you will find, always is a good time. Ooh, 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 it's fun to tip the F-I-S-H. It's fun to tip the F-I-S-H. <laughs> well, that one goes on for a long time, doesn't it? <laughs> that was the first one out of the box tonight. Was uh, was a long one. He's got a new one in there. And here's the thing. Here's inside baseball. Hecklefish's response is, he's not really here. You know, you can see his bowl is back there. So he's not really on the show. So those are randomized re responses. And um, that's why sometimes you'll hear the same one over and over. So there's a new one in there that I, I can't really want to play for you guys, but... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see if it comes up. Thanks again, Nancy. You're awesome. Mike D501, why with the 01? He wonders aloud. Do you get a lot of anger from people when you debunk? What story generated the most anger? Yes, I do. I do get a lot of anger. At least, no, I, when, the, when the channel was smaller, I would, I 
prided myself on responding to every single comment that I got, every single one. And I did that for almost two years because there weren't that many people watching. It wasn't that hard. Um, and the earlier videos, it wasn't really this format. We kind of found our way here, this tell the story and then debunk it. We kind of arrived here. The earlier videos were, I was just kind of trying to figure it out. You know, the first video on the channel was about math. I, it, the content of that video is, is fun, you know, because I, I like that. I like the, uh, the surprises of math, but the production on that one is, it's a rough ride. It's a, it's a rough ride. I, I thought it was good at the time. You know, every content creator coach, they tell you the same stuff that, uh, you know, just post your videos, just get that first one out, second, third one, because they're going to be terrible. So just get the bad videos out of your system. And I'm listening to that going, yeah, but I've produced, I'm a writer, editor, you know, I've done all this stuff. So how could my first video videos be that bad? I know what I'm doing. Turns out I had no idea what I'm doing in the first videos were, were terrible. So I would get a lot of anger, Mike. And it was weird because um, a lot of it was, you know, I love this story and now you've ruined all the fun for me. And I, I, I couldn't understand. I still don't. I just, I'm not in the comments as much as I used to be. So I don't see the hate. You know, even though we have a thousand times more positive comments, there's a thousand times more awful ones. I don't know why I lean into the microphone for that. So, you know, I don't know why you would not want to know the truth. You know, if you, if you, if there's a story you love. So yeah, I, I get a lot of hate. And what I would tell people is, look, if we can debunk 99% of the stories, doesn't that make the 1% that much more fun? Cause I think it does. Cause I don't debunk everything. There's some stories that I just go, look, I can't figure it out. Uh, Jen's waving at me. You're waving at me? Does that mean you want to go on the air? She wants to come on the air. Hi, everybody. So you upset Hi. people. Um, your microphone is off. So we'll, we'll go ahead and drop her down. She's got some technical difficulties. She's going to work those out. I Actually, you know what? Should we, I think she wants to watch us watch her. Now is your mic on, dear? Is it on? Yes. It's on? Victoria oh. says yes. Okay. I don't hear you. Well, I don't know. Maybe you have me on mute. But they hear you in the chat? Yeah. That could mean I have a setting wrong here. So I just wanted to make a clarification because you upset some people in the chat. Hecklefish is real. He's just Okay, I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to let you do it for a second because I can't hear you. Okay. So Hecklefish is... No, 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 not, not that one. Not that one. I, I want... Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. So I just wanted to let you guys know because he didn't make it clear. Hecklefish is real. We just couldn't get him to sign the contract to do the after files. So we got him to do some canned responses so we could at least have him as part of here with you guys. But yes, he's real. He's just not here for the after files. So I knew a lot of people were upset and I just wanted to clarify that because AJ did not make it very clear. So, hey, Susan. Okay, AJ, I'm good. He's just, he's just looking now. He's just, I'm going to put him back on now. It's 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 a nightmare. I suspect you can hear me now. All right, yeah, I can't hear you guys, which could make things tricky for for this. Uh, no, I I schedule the live streams to go right after the show because we're all here, and I'm you know I'm here in the in the studio. But as the episode's wrapping up, I'm I'm tearing ass into here to get to get ready. I I, I didn't spend enough time setting up today. I'm definitely behind. So I'm sorry about that. I can't hear the ladies, but if you guys can, then that's, that's fine. I hope they're entertaining. Are they? Are they funny? Eric Bishop, 999. Will the other channel be more stories akin 
Akin doesn't get enough play. Akin to the Ohio Letters story, uh, that was a story that got me onto your channel. Wow, that's cool. That was the Circleville Letters story that Eric's talking about. I like that story too. It didn't. It didn't do well on the channel. Um, you know, and that would have been better suited for the What Files. The What Files is going to be basically true crime. So Circleville Letters would have gone there. But it's it's fun to hear that you found the channel through that because it. It's it's a video that's a, it's a lot different than the others, but yeah, the what files that's that's going to be in a few months. So I can hear you, but can you hear Hecklefish? Um, can we get a translation for this? I don't speak cuckoo. <laughs> okay. Who whom do we have? Love peace five dollars. I love an in depth. A uh, near-death experience episode that focuses on medical research combined with normal people's stories of their NDEs. Uh, yeah, we're we're working on that right now. All kind of working around the the skull experiment, but yeah, I like the NDE phenomenon myself. So that's definitely coming. Love piece. I'm just try I want to make sure that I get it right because there's a lot of information on that. It's not like when you do a story like tonight's Apollo 20. There's there's not a ton of information on it. It's a, it's a new urban legend. You know, 15 years, which is pretty new. And there's only a couple of directions it can go. And the guy wrote a book, so there's the story. But near-death death experiences have been happening since, you know, Sumer. So there's, a, there's millennia of information. I want to make sure I want to get it right and get it all. Helios won $2. Greetings from Phoenix. I love Phoenix. Lived in Scottsdale for a little while. Rowan in for $5. Plot twist. Ship crash was real. So they paid the French guy to prop up fake footage story to make it ridiculous sounding. That's a very common theory. I didn't really get into it in the episode because it was getting long, but that is, that's something that, but it's the, the conspiracy thing, right? That you can make it always make it fit like any debunking. Any story can always come back to, well, that's what they want you to think. They just want it to sound crazy, but there are plenty of people who believe that, um, that, that he's just, that he's like the cover story. So the crash was real. So you're saying that that, that cigar, they call it the cigar, the, the cigar thing was a real ship. Uh, you could be right because they definitely, NASA, they definitely whitewashed that photo. I forget what it was. AS-15, 9630. I linked it. So they whitewashed that, that photo. If you look at the older ones, the cigar is definitely a cigar. And the later ones, it's just kind of, it's just a white hill. So NASA's really shady about, about their Photoshopping. So I found another video. I didn't link it, but you can easily find it. And it's a guy who's saying it's not a hoax. It's definitely real. And he goes through, he spends most of his time on the, the NASA photo and on some of the some of the Speth's images or some of the images at least associated with that story might be interested in that. But uh, you could be right. Andrew M. Gross, MD, that's Dr. Gross for two hundred dollars. What? Ooh, thank you for the tip. This human knows what's up. That's it. The the other the uh, the other one got a whole song and he gets that that's it. Hey, just wanted to say I love the channel. I love your journalistic and overall integrity. You don't know me that well. Just became a Patreon as a black belt. I appreciate that and consider it a great value. Well, thanks, Dr. Gross. Dr. Gross throwing throwing money at the live stream. Very generous. That really helps. Tiff Tastic, four ninety nine. Tiff kind of looks like the alien in the video. She got the forehead going. Uh, official schist here. Can't wait to convince you to, to do a space with me. What are you saying? Are, are, you, are you saying like Twitter spaces? What are we doing? You have to email me, Tiff. Joe Belota for $10. Love your stuff. Why do you say you're a patriot? Our government has done much, so much wicked stuff to citizens and people intentionally, so I can't say I'm proud to be an American. What's your perspective? Because uh, American to me is an identity. It's not, uh, the government is different. I, you, if you follow the channel, you know I'm anti-government, but I'm, I'm pro-America. But being pro-America doesn't mean I wrap myself in red, white, and blue and, you know, the top hat and the white beard and Uncle Sam, like, whatever. I, that doesn't mean I do that. When I say I love my country, that what I'm really saying is I love my countrymen. 
The people that are in charge are idiots. So, you know, the, the government to me is not the country. I hope that answers your question. Uh, you could love your country and without loving your country. Fletch lives, 1966, 999, still waiting for the Wi-Fi bottle opener. That is a good one. Jen's writing it down. Look at her writing. Can so you hear I really me now? wish I can get the sound going. You can't hear me? Everybody I else. Why I can't hear can. you? Okay. Mute, unmute. Now? Edit mic settings. Uh, no, it's all good. She's dancing. All right, there she goes. All right, she's, she's writing that down. Anthony Washington for $20. I anticipate this show just as much as I did with Unsolved Mysteries back in the day. That's a big compliment. Thanks, Anthony, for watching. And for the tip, I really appreciate that. Unsolved Mysteries, that was a great show. I, f I feel like it, w it, it wasn't that long ago that that was on, but whenever I, I'm pulling clips from Unsolved Mysteries, it's like, why is the, why is the video this small? And Oh, because it's from uh, 1986. Zoltan. For two dollars, was Zoltan the name of the the fortune teller in Big that turns Tom Hanks small? Wasn't that Zoltan? Have you? It was Zoltan. Mm -hmm. That uh, I saw. I, she, she was she was bobbleheading down there. Have you heard of the uh, the book Behold a Pale Horse? I have heard of that, and um, it's it's a story that I, I it's sitting on the sh sitting on the shelf actually. It's uh, I think that's that's William William S Cooper. I'd like to cover it, but he died under mysterious circumstances after predicting the 9-11 attack, predicting Osama bin Laden would attack, and that the United States government would blame it on Osama bin Laden that nobody had heard of. And then three months later, it happened. Tastefully Nerd, $5. I love the story that feel largely unconnected from popular theories, like when you covered the Dodleston mystery, that and Max Headroom woman hooked me. That's great, Tastefully Nerd. We would certainly get along because those are two of my favorites, and I like those as well. Those are the ones, those are the stories that are my favorite. Not so much aliens, you know, I don't get into cryptids, but, uh, but stories that kind of really happened but are, but are just really off offbeat. Uh, Donaldson Mystery is a great story. So if you guys like... Time Travel and Ghosts, go check that one out. That one's super fun. And um, speaking of Dodleston, the woman that I talk about in that episode, and it's been so long that I've, I can't really remember the names that well, but her name was Deb. She reached out to me, and she was willing to talk about the story. And she said, she said my video was the most accurate one she saw, but there were some things I got wrong. So she would talk about that story, I just, I don't have a format for that. Like, um, you old schoolers remember the John Teeter story, or if you're a hardcore fan, you know who John Teeter is, the time traveler. Well, the guy who allegedly created that story, he reached out to me and he would talk, but I don't have a, I feel like Travolta, the Travolta meme, I don't have a, a format for it, but maybe that's something something we can get but i'm glad you like those nerd mike barra 499 cool episode i got all kinds of blowback when i wrote about this in my jfk book people want the fairy tale they do they do um if if you have that book on pdf send it over or send a kindle link i'll buy it i'll pay i'll put down real money i love the jfk conspiracy Probably maybe my favorite Kevin V, a longtime supporter of the channel, big time supporter for $35. Ooh, thank you, human. You made my doors spin tingle. Ooh, well, well done again. I can't stick around for the whole live event. I barely can. Uh, but I need you to fund the real story. It's it's gotta be out there. I had an experience in the Navy. Somehow, someone somewhere has to have the goods. Awesome, John AJ. I think I know what you're saying there, Kevin. And and regarding your experiences with the Navy, uh, I think we're don't ask, don't tell. Chris Hudson, $20. Thanks for another great video. You're welcome, Chris. And thanks for the tip. That's very generous of you. Mike Jesso, $5. AJ, we love the variety of topics. It's great. never gets boring. Someone else can do a UFO show. Uh, you know, I, I agree. I don't. When I do the UFOs, I try to make them like er, 
a lot of people want me to cover Rendlesham and and some of those other sightings, and I think I will get to those. But I would probably wrap them up in a <clears throat> in a single video, than just talking about uh, you know a, a commonly known UFO story over and over, like like Barney and Betty Hill. I I'm not really interested in doing their story, although tons of people want to hear it. But the UFO ARV story about how the military allegedly built a UFO, a working UFO, that's the kind of UFO stuff that I like. And I, and I don't remember how well that video did, but I think we were able to scratch everybody's itch with that, even like the hardcore UFO people. I think. I have to go back and look at the stats. Mike George, $5. Great show tonight as always. Have you heard of Loab and AI art? I have. Uh, we looked at this last week. And, you know, I can't, I can't hear my producers. I can't call up my browser. It, 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 what? She's gesturing. What? I changed some settings. Now can you hear me? You have to do, the, you have to do ASL. No. I only know no. one word in ASL. It's this. Does anyone speak sign? Put in the chat what that means. Put in the chat what that means. Um, oh, wait. So Loab, AI art. Yeah. So... If you guys don't know, uh, if you don't know what AI art is, you put in a, a phrase and it creates a picture. That's it in a nutshell. You can go to Mid Journey and you can type in, I want to see goldfish in a round bowl with a tinfoil hat talking about UFOs in the style of Norman Rockwell using only the color blue. You can type that in and you'll get that picture. It, they look janky, but th it'll do that for you. So anyway, people are putting phrases into mid journey and other platforms like that. And they keep getting this creepy woman's face over and over and over. And I'd like to, I'd like to cover that. I just don't know how it would fit. Maybe an AI story. I don't know. I, let me see if I can get my, my browser up here. You know, I should, I should just do the, the standby screen for this, but you know, it's just us, you know, uh, You, since it's just us, you're not you're not going to judge me. Let me see if I can make it happen. So we got that tab. Then we go into this here. You don't can't see what I'm doing, and get the properties of that. And that looks right. Good. Yes. Click done. And uh, we got nothing. I mean, I still have the the best of rerun video. Yeah, so that's not going to work. All right, we've got uh, so yeah, Mike. I might cover that because it's because it's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Richard Bramlett for twenty dollars. Hey yo, making it rain over here. Whoop whoop! Where'd Richard go? My producers are, cl are they're clicking. They're they're click happy. Richard Bramlett for $20. They're, they're just they're clicking like maniacs. Click click one of the best videos as of late. Thanks. Appreciate all the hard work that went into it and that contributed. And that all that con and uh, into it and all that contributed. Keep it the great work. Thanks Richard. Um got that video posted at 5 a.m. this morning. Ah. Uh, yeah, so we're probably not going to go super long tonight because uh because I, 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 I got to that around 5.30, 5.45. I just, I got to get some writers in here. Look, if you're a writer or you know a writer, go to thewifiles.com, click click the jobs link and, and submit because we need, we need you for money. We'll pay you real money. So, I, but the, the thing is, I was going to do a backstage video about this, but I, th I think I just, I think I need the deadline to be honest with you because it's not until it, I start to get really panicky. Like picking the video is the hardest. That's the hardest thing, picking the topic. Because I will get a topic from the tips line or from a suggestion, and it will sound great. But before I can do it, I still have to spend a few hours researching it. And what happens most of the time is I get through a few hours of research, and I can't, I can't or don't want to do the story, or it's just not quite right. And uh, like last weekend, I spent a day and a half researching a story that I'm probably not going to do. I'm going to do it, but I'm but not yet. So then I'm really, really behind. 
but I do have a, like, I have a couple of days here, like Friday and Saturday. I have a couple of days to kind of figure out the topic, but I don't know. I, I'm usually just I, goofing off on Friday because I, because after all this, I'm just a puddle of goo. And then, uh, Saturday, I try to pick the topic. It goes slowly. Then Sunday, I start to panic, and I just go, just, just pick one. And then writing it is, is hard. I, I'm not why I'm not complaining. I'm just saying there's effort. Adam the Great, indeed, for ten dollars. Don't you think that Black Americans were already in? Hold on, let's, let's let me read two words ahead. We're already in America before America was. Dis- was discovered they were in surrounding islands and in south america are we to think that they weren't already in america that's that's a hard one to answer adam because what you're we're not really talking about race with that we're talking about genetics so if you look at like polynesian people we can call pacific islanders a race but they have a substantial amount of aboriginal dna and Caucasian DNA. Everybody has a little bit of everything. So when I when I when I see Black Americans, I I think you just mean like Black folks. I think there were people in in America for a lot longer than mainstream science, mainstream anthropology says. Whether they were, you know from Africa. I, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so because I think we would see a genetic imprint of that, Uh, but it's, it's certainly possible that a small group of people made it and they just interbred with, with others that were here. You know, it's, it's hard to tell, but there's a great book that I don't think you care, but, uh, I think it was called The Seven Eves. I think that's what it's called. The Seven Eves. Maybe it's nine, maybe it's five, but it's something Eves. And if you're if if you're into genetics, then pick up this book. FYI, uh, for about three weeks one summer when I was just a lad, I went to genetics camp. That was a thing. You were playing stickball and Dodgeball, I went to genetics camp. So uh, not a lot of, didn't, didn't meet a lot of girls that summer. Um, so the 70s talks about the, how we can trace, everyone can trace DNA back through their mitochondrial DNA, right? That's the DNA that comes from your mother. And your mother has mitochondrial DNA from her mother and back and back and back. So the book about the seven eaves, I think it's seven eaves, is they have traced geneticists, anthropologists, they look at DNA from all over the world and they've traced these mitochondrial patterns back to seven women that they call the seven Eves because every one of us goes back to those seven women. So, I mean, when you read a book like that, you start, at least I do, I stop, I stop thinking about race and, and nationalism and think about, wow, we all kind of go back to the same like few few people that's that's crazy to me so anyway adam the great check out that book joe p for 999 awesome story I was really hoping it was all true were you the wi files the best channel thank you for that thanks for all you do can't wait for the jfk episode yeah um i think another uh, one of you guys is going to send me his book or the link to kindle i'll pay i'll pay money for it um yeah, I was, I was, I like the idea that the that there's an alien ship crashed up there. That's just that's just fun. Just the um, you know, the alien woman and all that got got a little crazy, and the yellow the yellow tears, the goo. But look, I went into I went into moon stories as a skeptic, and now I'm I, I feel like there's something up there. You know, we can we can Google Earth everything. Why can't we? They have Google Moon. But why can't we get right? Like, why can't we get Google Moon Street View, right? And we go right to that spot and see what's there. For some reason, we can't do that somehow. For some reason, Magic Powers ten dollars. Hey AJ, since it's your channel, I think you should do the subject matter you find interesting. That way, you stay upbeat and happy. Great work as always. Yeah, I, that's nice of you to say, Magic. And for the most part, I do, but not a hundred percent, because it's um. 
it, I have to do the stories that you guys like too. You know, like um, like the the Michigan dog man. I didn't want to do that story. You know how I feel about cryptids. I don't want to do. I don't want to cover cryptids. There's no such thing as cryptids. There's no Bigfoot. There might be chupacabra. But there's no Bigfoot. So I don't want to cover that. But I did it because a lot of people asked for it, and I tried to make it as fun as I could. You know, I don't. I don't work through the episode hating it. I still try to make it fun, especially for people who are maybe in my camp that are skeptical about it. Because I worked really hard with the episode to find photographs that were compelling, and there are some in there that are that are super weird. There's the the one that I used in the thumbnail, where it's that wolf who's in the parking lot at night under the under that that light. That photo is really hard to debunk. So, I'm glad you think so, Magic. But I I, I have to have a balance: St stories that I like, but also stories that you like. Tone Vase for twenty bucks. Awesome videos, new subscriber. Welcome to the to the madhouse. Hope you like it here. Go check out the uh, the Discord. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can get that link in there for you. There you go. Come on. Well, eventually, that'll send. Jake Best. For two dollars, thanks, Jake. It really helps. Dave Lorich, Lorick for ten dollars. Just keep the content coming. Favorite site on YouTube. Thanks, David. Dave, sorry, sorry, Dave. Dave. Becky Ward, nine eighty nine. Love tonight's episode. My whole family watched. Who are they? Who is the whole family? Is it Becky and two cats, or is there a husband? There's some kids. Nana's there. Who's? I, I want to know who watched. Love the episode. My whole family watched. The weird moon and space stories are my favorite. Who's your favorite astronaut? Also, fear the crab cat. Fear the crab cat. If you like this mug, you can have your own fear the crab cat mug. You can get it right now. Shop the yfiles.com. Support your favorite YouTube channel by going to the uh, the Y Files store. We have all kinds of stuff up there. We got hecklefish stuff. Everything's up there. And the crab cat mugs are doing pretty good, but it's really anything with his face on it, people are buying which is fascinating to me. Like, honestly, between us, I don't know why people are buying it, but the stuff is there. And look, when, I, when I'm doing the, 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 um, the plugs I, for, the, for the store, I'm mostly doing a bit because I don't make a lot of money from the products because remember, they're up there for cheap. I'm going to raise the prices I, at some point, but right now they're cheap because so I don't make a lot of money from them. Um, so I'm mostly doing a bit, but also I get such a kick out of getting the photos back from people like wearing Hecklefish's face on a shirt or stories that someone's wearing, wearing a Hecklefish shirt in Walmart and they're like, hey, you know, or I, I just, I get such a kick out of it. So, um, so the merch store, it's really not, it's not a profit center for the channel. It helps a little bit, but, but not a ton. I just, I, I just love seeing you guys wear, wearing the stuff. Um, so favorite astronaut. Oh, that's such a hard one. Schmitty. I think I might go Schmidt, the last guy on the moon. He was cool. Um, he, cause he kept breaking the land rover over and over. Like he just kept breaking it and, and people were getting annoyed. Like, like Houston was getting annoyed about it. They eventually fixed it with, um, a plastic map. And you know what I'm going to say? Duct tape. Fu Man for twenty dollars. Here you go. Guppy needs a new pair of shoes. Hey, I'm a new Orange Belt Patreon subscriber. Hey, welcome to the to the Funny Farm. This is my first Patreon subscription ever. Keep up the great work. Hey, Lord Hecklefish, he is a strict but fair lord. Um. So yeah, thanks for joining Patreon. Uh, did the did the Discord link come through? I'm gonna try it. Did. She's, she's nodding. I would, I would put her on the screen, but I, I can't hear her. Um, so yeah, so jump on Discord. You have special access there to, to stuff. Although since, uh, since Victoria and, and X have taken over the Discord, I don't know what's going on over there. I think you get extra stuff. You may get nothing. You may, I don't know. But it, it, it used to be cool for orange belts. Check it out. Scott F, $10. Just bought my first Hecklefish merch. Look, and if you would like you have your own Hecklefish merch, you can go. No, I'm not going to do it again. I'll, I'll wait 10 minutes. Um, my favorite show. Look forward to watching live on Thursdays. Reminds me of looking forward to new Unsolved Mysteries when you were a kid. Yeah, that's, but, I mean, that's how old I am is because I watch those as an adult. Thanks, Scott. 
M. Lucas for $10. Excellent show. Could not wait for tonight and you did not disappoint. Thanks. Keep the great work. Would love to learn to edit like you. Um, just practice. M. Lucas, just practice. What I've been editing, I've been editing video since the late 80s. I'm trying to think. I used, yeah, I, like I use Macromedia Director. Right? So in the 80s, when I started editing to get video into the computer, at least when I was doing it, you take your camcorder and connect it with, with a, it was called a SCSI cable, SCSI cable, into your computer through a special card that the computer had to have. And then you would press play on the tape and it would play in real time, like you'd see it on the flip out screen. And then your computer would record that. That's how we would digitize. That's, that's so I go back a ways. But what really helped my edit my editing go to the next level, I guess you can call it, is I worked full time as an editor for about a year, um, you know, for a company on site and and for that same company remotely. So I was just constantly doing it all the time, and um, and we did TV content. So I got to learn from so you know my boss had won two, what are those awards? Won two Emmys. So that's a guy who taught me how to how to do color correction and Da Vinci. I didn't really know how to do that, and. Um, you know, shout out to Nathan and and Seabass. Those guys are super talented and they taught me a bunch of stuff. I taught them plenty too. So just keep practicing, M. Lucas. Just practice, practice, practice. Paul is back for another $20. You five more dollars and you get a private dance. Ooh, repeating my $100 super chat. Love your take on Space Race 2.0 plus changes to Patreons. Um, I, you know... I, are we are we officially in space race 2.0 now? I think once once the Chinese found helium three, I think that I think we were officially in it. Then we were probably in in the space race before then via the intelligence community, but we're definitely in it now. I'm glad it's here. It's it's a long time coming. The uh, do you guys watch for all mankind? If, I mean, if you're into, like, if you like today's story, then that's a show that you'd like. It's on Apple TV. It's, it's half soap opera, which is fine. Um, but what For All Mankind is, is it's an alternative, alternate history story. So the premise is the Russians landed on the moon first. So, so America lost that part of the space race. And because America lost, Competition was amped up, and and America and Russia, the United States, the Soviet Union, just threw tons and tons of resources into space exploration for decades. So in the show, I, I, I guess, can I give spoilers? I won't give spoilers. I'll give season one spoilers. Eventually, they, they build like an outpost on the moon. They get over the seasons, gets bigger and bigger. It's cool to watch. So when, watching that show, the show's fun. Soap opera end of it is a little, eh, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of woke, but it's, it's, you know, it's fun, but it's, it's almost frustrating to see because I'm watching going, this is what would have happened when the moon would have been done. We would have looking at Mars. We'd be looking at all kinds of stuff. Um, big ups to Ronald B. Moore, by the way, he created that show. I'm a huge Ronald B. Moore fan. Um, you older nerds will remember Ronald B. Moore from DS9. He started a, he pitched Next Generation when he was a kid. They liked his story idea, which I can't think of off the top of my head. And then he went on to be a DS9 and became a, an EP over there and showrunner. And a quick story. I don't know if you guys have heard of Club 33. It's that that kind of cool club in Disneyland that's like a secret that, that everyone knows about. Anyway, a buddy of mine is a member there. And when, when you have dinner at Club 33 on like a busy night, there's always celebrities in there. Like uh, one night we're in there and Kevin Pollock sat at our table and was doing impressions for Jen. It was, it was super fun. Um, and I told him, I said, Kevin, just you were the first walking. You were the, he's like, I appreciate that. Everyone does walking, but he was the first walking. So Kevin was super nice. And to sit and do, you know, do impressions for for, for my wife was fun. So anyway, we're, we're there for some event and there's, and it's super crowded. And, you know, Jen and I have been in Hollywood a long time. So when we see celebrities, there's half of you said, 
is like, oh, there's Nicolas Cage, who we saw, you know, buying mojitos. But the other half of this is like, it's like, it's Nick, so what? You know, I see celebrities. I work in Hollywood. It's just, it's just, it's just Nick. It's just Nick. We, he was there, by the way, buying my two mojitos, and he couldn't wait to get out of there. Um, so, so we're in Club Thirty Three, and now I then I now I start ner- nerding out. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And my friends and are like, what? Who? Who is it? I'm like, I, I, I got to go talk to him. I had they're like, what is it? Brad Pitt's here? Uh, you know, is it De Niro? So I run over and I go talk to Ronald B. Moore sitting there. He's just sitting there having soup like a person. So I just walked over and I just, I just said, I, you know, I'm a fan. I dig your work and, and blah, blah, blah. And he, he's like, that's cool. Um, so you get, do a lot of people bother you in public? He's like, mm, they, they don't, <laughs> they, they don't really know who I am. Um, but I knew who he was. So I get back to the table and my friends are like, only AJ would know by sight, a science fiction writer. It's like, Hey man, that's, you know, that's how I roll. Ronald Moore, very nice man. Philip Norris, $2. Kalisa Temple carved, carved one stone top down. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Drop it in the suggestion box, human. Drop it in the suggestion box. Barry Highlander, there can be only one. Nine ninety nine. dollars love the show. I'll send it in the tip line, but... I think a good episode would be the Shakespeare authorship theory, specifically that Edward de Vere is the real author of Shakespeare's works. Thank you. What about what about what about Bacon? Francis Bacon, Kevin Bacon. Um, yeah, there there are a couple. I, a few people have asked for the Shakespeare theory. I'm worried about it because I, I'm worried about the clicks. I'm worried that people would think that it's just, you know that it's just oh it's going to be Shakespeare. Ugh. But. Uh, but I think it would be a fun story to do. I don't know, Barry. Maybe you can get on the live stream. We can just talk about it. That's Pillant Gray Matter Society dropping nineteen ninety nine in there. No question, nothing. All right, just throw our money. I appreciate it. John DeLeo with the Mark of the Beast, 666. Thanks, John. Fu Man for $20. Hey, can you give a happy birthday shout out to my wife, Dusty? She would love it. Hail Lord Hecklefish. He's a strict but fair Lord. Happy birthday, Dusty. I, we would sing for you, but I can't hear them. Um, is Dusty her name or is that a nickname? Is that, is that a, descript, a description of her? Because they make a cream for that. Chloe 510 $5 Canadian. Thanks so much. Hecklefish's sense of humor for $10. Wow, you're on fire tonight, my laird. You never fail to put me a smile on your viewers' faces. Tell your co-host, AJ, he did a good job. and But he's going to have to step up his game to match your wit. Now, this is an idea I can get behind. All right, he likes it. Thanks, Hecklefish's sense of humor for $10. Plaid, four ninety nine. love the channel. The kids and I look forward to new episodes. Cool, keep up the good work. By the way, are there alien colonies on the moon? Um, I probably let that clip run too long tonight, but I just, I wanted to get it all in there. I even cut it down, but I wanted to get, it's Carl Wolf who at the disclosure project talked about how, when he worked at the air force, his job was repairing machines that, that dealt with photography. So high end machines, high end photography. So he goes over to, I guess it was Edwards, uh, it's Langley. He goes over to Langley to fix some machine. And he walks in there and there's a bunch of people hanging out and he goes in, there's another, you know, just, you just an airman, just a kid says, uh, what's going on with all these scientists and stuff. I, I just, you know, he's basically a copy repair man. And the other kid is like, well, we found structures on the moon, like cities and domes and all kinds of stuff. It's like, no shit. And he's look at the pictures, pictures are there. And then, um, and Carl thinks like it's a new discovery. Like they just made the discovery that day and he goes home and he's telling his wife, I can't, he's watching the news. I can't wait to see the coverage of the stuff they found on the moon, but there was nothing. So, you know, he's a very compelling, uh, witness. Carl Wolf. I, I say is, was, he was hit by a car while riding a bike. So, uh, so no testifying for Carl Wolf, rest in peace. Another one bites the dust. Uh, that's Pablo Elizondo, 17, for 131 pesos. 
Hi, G. Heckle. There's two super chats gone last week. You okay? What do you mean? Just wanted to hear your take on the Paul is dead Beatles breakup on the Lennon killing 50 year later. 50 later looks like suspicious wonder why. I read it verbatim. So if there's no, you know, articles in there, prepositions, I'm just going to read it without. So I like, I like the Paul is dead story a lot. I've always liked that one. That's one I'm, I'm worried about the clicks with, you know, with the youngsters. Now, the average age of a watcher of our channel is probably about 40. You know, the Y files is 25 to 54. That's our demo, which just so happens to be the best demo you could possibly be in. So that's great. So if you're under the age 25, very few kids watch. So I think most of us would know the Paul is dead story or at least be interested in it. But I'm worried about, you know, millennials. They may not even, I mean, everyone has to know who Paul McCartney and the Beatles are, right? I hope so. But that's a good story, Pablo. Fly New York for two pounds. Fish food. He likes White Castle cheeseburgers. Thanks, Fly New York. Ruby Cabo, Cabo, Cabanillas, Cabanillas for a buck. Ryan Doherty dropping $5 in the, uh, the tip jar. Thanks, Ryan. Chris from Beyond. $10. My wife and I always look forward to your videos. Cool. Have you checked out Missing 411, the UFO connection yet? Shout out to Hecklefish, Fish Gang. Um, this human right here, this human gets it. Um, I haven't seen Missing 411, the UFO connection. Chris, is that a David Polity's thing? I wouldn't think so. I don't think he's a UFO guy. I think he likes mountains and Bigfoot. Um, but I'd be interested in that. I'm, I'm assuming that's abductions. UFO abduction stories on YouTube get a context warning, which is not good for us. But for some reason, we have been able to dodge it with the Brooklyn UFO story. Like I purposely wrote the title in the description. I didn't say the word abduction and I barely touched on it in the video because I didn't want the, the algorithm to throw a context warning on there, which they say doesn't affect promotion, but it totally affects promotion. Um, so I don't know. But I, I like the stories. That's Vinnie Laurie for nine ninety nine. dollars Buy Hecklefish some fancy fish food. That would be White Castle double cheeseburgers. John DeLau's back for $10. Nice. Chloe's back for $5 Canadian. You and Hecklefish are the best. Love, Jen, and all the followers. Uh, we don't have followers here, Chloe. We have a community. But we do have the best community on YouTube. Mike Goad or Goad four ninety nine. dollars Great show. The entire family's lined up watching. Hey, Goad Goads, Goad family. The kiddo wants a Y Files hoodie. Maybe for her B-Day, do rewatches help your analytics? Rewatches help greatly, actually. Uh, binging is great for analytics. Rewatching is great because the algorithm thinks that you liked it so much, you know, you want to enjoy it twice. Uh, hoodies have been out of stock from Printify for a while. A while? Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying a while. Um, I don't know if they're back yet. I would pull up uh, the browser, but that's not working. Just like the producers that I can't hear down there. So that's why they're just, they're just eating. Can you hear me now? Just eat. Can you hear me now? What? I can't no? hear you. No. Oh, uh, I hear? left and came back. What do you got there? Ice cream? Uh, she's got ice cream. Oh, Halo Top Diet Ice Cream. Is that cookies and cream? No. No? It's uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Halo Top, I can't read what it says. Uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Halo Top is pretty good. Pretty good ice cream. Now, if you if you eat Halo Top like that, and then you eat like a Hagen dazs right next to it, it's 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 like it's it's, it's, it's almost like it's freezer burned ice milk Halo yes. Top. But if that's all you're eating, it's really it's really not bad. Um, a, f a few weeks ago, Gino was at the house and we gave him some Halo Top and he he thought it was just regular ice cream. And he's like, there's not a lot of flavor in this. Like, no, there's no sugar in it. They took all the flavor out. Jose Plaza for $5. Can you please do a video about the eye of uh, the Sahara? Yeah, good idea. But the human is not going to remember. You better use the tips line. Yeah, so put that in the tips line. That's uh, So the Eye of the Sahara, the Rishat structure, is super interesting. I touched on it, I think, last week or the week before. That's the structure in Western Africa. You hear that whistle? Shh, shh. Structure in West, Western Africa. It looks like 
Uh, if, if if you hear you know Jimmy Corsetti talk about it, he 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 thinks it's Atlantis. But um, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if I don't know if it's Atlantis. Um, I'm trying to think, ah, it'll come to me. So so Jose, I don't know if uh, if you if you're into the eye, I would check out um, Jimmy's channel, which is. Bright, bright insights. Is that it? You, you guys will know what it is. So he covers that a lot. But Jimmy's a, he's either a true believer, which I'm not sure he is, but he tells the story just like he just, he's, he's all in on it. Um, well, Jen's saying that we were going, doing last call for super chats. Super chat last call has been. Last call's been called, so get your super chats in. That must mean that I'm behind on the list. But you know, I I, I, I just want to talk to you guys. I just want to say I don't want to just say thanks five bucks, thanks five bucks. If you have a question, I want to answer it, and I have thoughts about the reshot structure. So Jimmy's covering it a lot. He thinks it's Atlantis. Um, I don't think it is. It'd be cool if it was. I don't think it is. But it's a, it's a really weird looking structure. I would show you if I can get the the thing to work, but just, just Google that. I don't know if I could bring much to that story, Jose, to be honest with you, I would just sort of be rehashing Jimmy's stuff. And then, and I, there's not really anything to debunk because nobody really knows what that is, but it is very, very strange. Cognitive culture for 499. Loved this video, all caps. You sent me into a rabbit hole as usual. That's awesome. Grateful for it. Have you made any final cho choices for the researcher position I applied? Um, no, I think um, Jen's been looking through those. I don't know. Is Victoria helping with that as well? No, she's dance. Jen's dancing. She's pointing. It's Jen. Jen, we're doing we're doing charades. We're playing charades. Yeah, she's, she's pointing and and. Yeah, I see that. And by the way, Jen's not very good at charades. She's she's more about Pictionary. Um, so no no decisions have been made yet, cognitive culture, but those are coming. Casey Olson, twenty five dollars. I'm a goldfish in a steel boat. I swim. I want it. I wanted a tip. I wanted, wanted, I wanted a tip. That's fun. Uh, there is something happening on the dark side of the moon. Hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? Uh, I agree. I think there is. Uh, thanks for that uh, generous tip, Casey. That really helps. Morris Carey, $5. Have you heard about the story? Whenever it starts with that, my answer is usually no. Um, but let's see. Where the alien lands and offers a man four pancakes in exchange for water, Joe Simonton, 1961, interviews on YouTube. Well, send that to the tips line because aliens and pancakes, is that's, that sounds like a good story. I'd like to read that. Three Treasures, four ninety nine super sticker. Thanks, Three Treasures. Look, looker, looker on ten dollars to support the channel. D DIY DIY ginger guy. That sounds like a, a handy, uh, a redheaded handyman. Hello, AJ. What's your take on sleeping giants shaped sleeping giants shaped in mountains? Uh, thank you for the content. Hecklefish for president. Speaking of Hecklefish for president, you can support his candidacy right now by going to shop.thewifefiles.com. You can get yourself a Hecklefish for president coffee mug and they're big mugs too. Remember these are, oh, I can't, yeah, I could fist. These are fistable mugs. These are big mugs. A hecklefish for president t-shirt is also available on shop at the .com. You can, you can support. Uh, I think that's a reaction to fisting. All right. Uh, we're all adults here, except for the kids. Uh, take on sleeping giants shaped like a mountain. It's hard to have a take on that because I have, I, I would like to see one wake up, but I like the stories. It seems like every every indigenous, I don't know how to say it, American Indian indigenous peoples, first uh, the ones that were, you know what I'm talking about? They have a lot of stories about, uh, about giants in the mountains, but I don't know how real they are. But 
I do know that a, a video about giants would do very well on the channel because we get a lot of requests for that. So that's coming. They're not as big as mountains, though. They're only about 10, 12 feet. Derek Galloway is back. Good to see you, Derek. We appreciate all you guys. Love the channel. Thanks, Derek. And Desiree is there as well from Orange Park, Florida. Casey Olson, $2. You're doing TV quality work. Don't doubt yourself. All right. Well, that's very nice. He's being very supportive. He's, he's giving me the old buck up buttercup and two bucks. So appreciate the support. Changing Google. Good luck. $10. My husband, I love you. I love you too. There are no other channels like yours and uh, your shows are TV qualities. Wow. So that's where I, that's where I am in the super chats, huh? Oh dear. Um, no other, ch I, I really think at least for now, the Y files is pretty unique. Because we can't, we can't describe it to anyone. Hey, what's your channel about? I just go, I, I, you got to go, go look at it. First, A, go look at it, and B, you're not going to like it. You got to watch a few. Um, so I, th I think it's pretty unique for now, but we're starting to see a couple of, um, a couple of fans. I don't want to say imitators. You do, you do your own thing. So instead of a goldfish, he's got a cat. You know, I don't know. You do what you do. You JC Ramos is back for $2. Love your channel. Hecklefish new subscribe. Welcome to the madhouse. Anthony Washington's back. Other creators are going to start taking their cues from you. You're that dude. I'm telling you, I don't know what cues you mean, Anthony. Um, I'm willing, I'm willing to help out other creators. I do whenever I can. If anyone has a YouTube channel, whenever they jump on the, the stream here and they say, you know, Hey, check out my channel. I'll do a whole, I do a whole, sponsor read about it like if you have a channel i would i would encourage people to go check it out but whenever creators ask me for advice i'm happy to give it i have opinions about everything but um i'll be the first to tell you that i you know there's a lot i don't know like the algorithm i just i don't understand but it really comes down to make good content and make it frequently will parker two dollars got one of the best channels thanks will Eric, Eric, thanks for the dollar ninety nine. Paul's back for seventy bucks. Well, I'll be a son of a fish. That's a nice tip. Indeed, it is. I hope you and Jen enjoy your evening. We are. She's she's got ice cream. Do you see what he did there, though? She's got ice cream. She's fine. She's got ice cream, and I'm not there, so she's she's doing great. Um, George Marchiwa, Marchiwa for five dollars Canadian. Thanks for that. PJ ten dollars. Ooh. Who, who, who? Ren Le Chateau. Yes, look into that one. Well, you got to... Um, Go to thewifiles.com slash tips and send it. Yeah, let's, let's get that up there. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff on the screen. Um, all right, set, send that in, PJ. I'll, I'll definitely check it out. Mercedes McGuire loves us. Thanks, Mercedes. Greg Domier, Dom, 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 maybe create a best of clip show and schedule to play on your normal day time. Maybe easier to build than a full research episode. That's a great idea. That's a great idea, Greg, to do a clip show, you know, kind of like the, when the sitcom does a bottle episode, when they're like in, in between uh, episode chunks, everyone knows what that is a bottle episode. When, like you, you watch a season of Frasier or whatever, and then they just have one episode. It's just Niles. Um, it's called a bottle episode because it all happens in in a tight bottle. It's usually just the one set. It's the, it's usually just the one actor. There's a lot of flashbacks in it, and uh, it's kind of just a way to fill episodes when they're between episode chunks. So that's a great idea, Greg. But someone has to edit that. So it would be just as much work until I get some editing help, which I'm looking for. So you editors out there, you can go to the yfiles.com uh, and click the jobs link. Looking for editors. Ranch dressing, $2. Put the store link in the vid description for us. I think it's in there. Yeah, I think it's down there. Jeremy Clark for $30 Australian. Thanks, Jeremy. That's right. Yes, thank you, human. You know the deal. He does indeed. Dead Minds Podcast for $2. I see a Netflix series in your future, my friend. That's very nice of you to say, but I would not put money on it. Nick Schweikarth for $1.99. Debunk how the NFL is rigged. Nope. Not doing that. Not doing that. Not going after the sports leagues, Nick. 
that's like attacking big tech, big sports. It's all in, they're all in league. Dwayne Ward, thanks for the fin. And W999, more cryptids. I don't want to, though. I'll do the Giants. We'll do the Giants. Do the Giants. I really don't want to do Bigfoot. Please don't. Please don't make me. Subconscious Tales for five euros. Uh, what do you think about planet Phaeton? There are some conspiracies about this lost 10th planet in our solar system. Now, asteroid belt. Uh, that's a story that's coming up. Phaeton, planet X, uh, Nibiru. There's a lot that can go into that story. Um, yeah, I found some good theories about that that I'll put in there. Uh, it connects to our solar system actually being part of a binary system with a brown dwarf star that has a super, super long orbit, which is why you have all these extinction level events happening around 50 million years apart. Don't worry, we're not due for that. Um, because according to the theory, when that other sun comes at us in a certain place, it just throws all the junk from the plane of the ecliptic down into our solar system, just all the crap that's up there. And it's an interesting theory because um, many people don't know that, but binary systems, the stars can be super far apart. Like, um, like, like Upsilon, I think is like a, a one and a half light years between the stars. So it could be. Maurice Blair for twenty dollars Canadian. Booyah, that's just sad. Jimmy's random content five dollars. Right now I'm stuck on the six mega civilizations before ours. Six civiliz before ours theories. Love your work. Cheers. Good luck with that, Jimmy. Those um those are fun. And if you're talking about a channel or a podcast or something, then email me. I'd like to I'd like to listen to that. Check it out. Chloe's back for another two dollars Canadian. He needs to talk to geologist and get it right. They don't want to talk to me. They don't want to talk to me, Chloe. They look at the channel. I talk to a fish. They don't, nobody takes me seriously. Doug W for five dollars. Keep paying those bills and keep up the great work. How about a nautical slash Bermuda Triangle story? Missing ship type stuff. I'd like to do that. Bermuda Triangle's covered so much that I that I don't know if I would do just that. But there are many triangles around the world, and I'm thinking about just doing a video about those. I covered the Nevada Triangle very early on in the channel. That was one of the, the videos that kind of where I started to figure out the format. Um, so, so I did cover a triangle there. So we might do a video with all the triangles. And I, I think you'll enjoy that. JD Wilder for $3. Thanks for that. Laugh 0138499. Have you ever looked into the wild history of Mitchell Air Base in central Utah? I'm not familiar with that. Send it to the tips line or give me a link so I can read that. Um, but you have, you have, I'm peaked. I'm peaked. My interest has been piqued. James and a lot of games, 1999. What about Prince Charles being a vampire? The rabbit hole is deep on that one. I love it. Um, I don't know if, if you're asking me, if you're suggesting do that story, which I'm not going to do, or if, if I believe that story, which I don't. But do I love that story? Yes. I love the, the idea that Prince Charles is a vampire. She's waving. What does she want? Um, okay, we're stopping. I'm um, stop. We're not starring the super chats anymore so just because he's got a ton and we thank you guys so much and we want to continue to talk and we're going to be on the air and talk for a while but um now remember i i don't hear so i'm just watching her so but the but we do have the we have the private chat down there in the in the dashboard if it's oh, anything important i just okay. saw her go oh i see i could lip read there oh and uh Oh, look at that nicotine gum she's chewing. I'm cu ah! Need. Jealousy. Um, James, a lot of games. Prince Charles being a vampire. Love it. I'm not doing the story, but I do I do love it. Jacob, the okay. Jacob, the Theo. Jake, Jake, Jacob, 999. When it comes to the UAP movement, what are your thoughts on guys like Elizondo and Greer? Legit grifters or something in between? Something in between. Um, I like Stephen Greer. He ha certainly has his detractors. Um, I think I think he has the right intentions. At least he certainly did. And he, you know he's he's one of the guys that that has brought this mainstream. I don't think anyone can deny that. Elizondo, I'm not a fan of because he's part of the the intelligence community, like like all the all those guys that that came out of the those projects. 
So Elizondo is a guy who'll go to the UF. He'll talk about UFOs and it feels like he's one of us. But look, when you work in intelligence, once you're in, you're in. That's why I don't trust Richard Doty. You don't go from OSI and to just totally flipping the script, becoming a believer, and then essentially calling your country liars. You know, you just don't, if you're a military person, you don't really do that. So I'm suspicious of Elizondo. I hope he's the real deal, but I doubt it. George's C for $10 Canadian. What are your thoughts on the Baltic Sea anomaly? Um, that's not the, you're not talking about the magnetic anomaly. Uh, I think you're talking about the Millennium Falcon underwater. I think that's what that is. I was going to cover the story. There's just not a ton to talk about on it because um, I would call it up for you guys. But if you don't know what that is, just Google Baltic Sea Anomaly right now. You'll see it's a, it looks like a, a pic. It looks like the Millennium Falcon is some type of structure or craft under the water. Now, experts say that it's just, you know, it's just a rock formation and it just kind of looks, you know, like the Millennium Falcon, but it's pretty compelling. It looks, it, you know, there's a lot of straight lines. So I like that story. I would even cover it if I can if I find a way to fit it in. But yeah, there's something suspicious about it. Like the Yanaguni Monument, experts, again in quotes, say that it's, it's a natural structure, but look at the right angles on that. Nature hates right angles. Claudia Garrido for 65, says for 65 Mexicans uh, uh, pesos. Can you make a video of the zone of silence in Mexico where the radio waves can't get in? I don't know that one, but boy, I like the sound of that. That's a Wi-Fi story. So there's a zone of silence where, is that Jen writing that down? She is. Thumbs up. Radio waves can't get in. I'd like to, I already, I'm already thinking about where we can go with that. Like what? I guess I have to look it up. Is it is it a, a a building? Is it a city? Is it a town? Is it just an area? Like a natural Faraday cage? Uh, great suggestion. South is solar five dollars. Looking into project. Look look into project. Looking glass. I'm familiar with that one. How it started as a stock prediction AI and grew into dimensional observation. Um, I, that was one of the stories that I was going to do in the last couple of weeks, and it, it just didn't it didn't come together. But Project Looking Glass is high on the list, Solar. Scott Sheaf, she left. Scott asked for $20. Thanks. Ooh, I like the way you tip me. No diggities. Just tip me up. Therapy Larry, $4.99. Thanks, Therapy. Somnus plays games. $10. I'd love to see you on JRE soon. That episode would be amazing. Either way, thank you for always telling the true story while keeping it entertaining. Definitely the best channel on YouTube. Much love. Thanks, Somnus. Um, first of all, I, I was on Joe's show a few years ago. We talked a little bit about this stuff. And uh, it's easy. I'm not going to put the link because it feels douchey because I've done that a few times. You can find it if you need to. But the thing about Joe is, you know, I... I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. You know, I consider myself an entertainer. So I don't know what Joe and I would talk about. That would be a, a, a value. I mean, we could sit and, and BS. We've done, we've done that. But I don't know what value it would be for his audience. Now, that said, Corsetti was on there again the other day. Well, I, I see that he had some backup. But, you know, Corsetti's kind of the same thing. He's just, he's not really an expert, he's just a communicator. And as a communicator, which I guess is what I am, I don't, I don't know if it would be that interesting. But um, I do it. I think. I mean, you got to do it. If Rogan wants you to do it, you got to do it. But I wouldn't be like super stoked about it. I would be kind of nervous. Not nervous like stage fright. That's not an issue. I'd be nervous like this. This is not helping anybody. Jeremy Clark for $20 Australian. Thank you again for your story. I'd like to ask if Hecklefish or me would care to look into the West All UFO sighting in Australia and also the aerial school in Zimbabwe out of the mouths of babes. Yeah, those are good suggestions. Oh, I'd like to see an episode on this too. Get off your lazy human ass and do it. <laughs> <I'm ch> <coughs> <coughs> good heavens, I'm trying. Ah. 
Thanks, Jeremy. Just throw that in the tips line. Um, Westall UFO, that comes up a lot. Pause back. If I email you again, I'll keep it shorter. <coughs> I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. <clears throat> Look, between you and me, if I get an email that's super long, I really don't read it. I'm sorry. I don't read that. The best emails are just, I open it and I can just get your thought and I respond to those. But I mean, I get some emails that are so long that Gmail has says, click the link to read the rest of it. Like it, you, it maxes out Gmail. And these are just manifestos where someone has discovered this cure to something and I'm going to help them, you know, bring it to the public. Um, you don't have to send me those. Just you, a quick question, an idea, a thought. Drop that in the email. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to read those. So, Paul, you're fine. Um, your suggestions were good, and you and you know what? You presented them. You presented them nicely. Some people are not so nice about it. Some people are are kind of kind of tools about it. You know, like your show sucks. You should be doing this. But and look, you're seeing the fruits of your labor on the screen right now. So clearly, it worked. Ali Halford. 899 New Zealand, have you heard about, have you heard of Charles Hall and the series of books he wrote, Millennial Hospitality? I have not. If so, would you consider an episode on this? I would. I would, Ollie. But send it in the tips line. Ty Kane, $1.99. Hola, Hala. How about making a video on the Anunnaki? I do want to do that. Um, Anunnaki videos get a context warning in YouTube. <sighs> super annoying. That's super annoying. Because if you're not into this content, you no one knows who the Anunnaki is except us. <clears throat> Sorry, Hecklefuss's comment made me made me choke. And the, the content warning scares me. But the Anunnaki, it's you have to you have to cover them. But like I said earlier, I have to find the right way to approach the that topic. So to bring you something new. Um Maybe cover Zechariah Sitchin's books. Uh, B, 1999, how long does it take you to receive a tip that you like research and put the episode out? A uh, week to 10 days, B, depending on the topic. <clears throat> like some, some take a lot longer because I'll research and research and it doesn't work. And I switch, you know, midstream. But then I go back and I've got research done and I just kind of build on from there. Like Tartaria is a video everybody asks for, you know, the mud floods. And I researched the hell out of that one, but I haven't done the video yet. So that one technically is going to take a lot of work because I've already put hours and hours of research in. Um, tonight's video wasn't wasn't super super intense to do. Tonight's video took me about two days to research. Plus, I read the read his book, which was it was a which was hard hard to get through. Um, I think I think. <clears throat> I think Jen was sitting on the couch like when I finished it, like when I finally hit page 258. And uh, I just I, like, I, I wish I had a heart. I had the Kindle. So I just, so I had to gently, gently throw the Kindle down in frustration. I've had a book. I would have slammed it and said, I wish I could have had, you know, those six or seven hours of my life back. But that was a rough read. So that tonight's was <laughs> Jen saying it, She's saying Applebee's. She said, "If you want Applebee's, you got to get your order you gotta get in. It. You got to order." Which is true, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm. I've been at this when I'm at the studio for too long. I'm worried that I get fat because I'm. I'm not quite as disciplined here. Here's how it works. Here's how it works when I eat here. I don't I hardly eat at all all day. I just chew nicotine gum, and then I have cheeseburger and fries in, at the end. Mm -hmm. And chips. There's chips here now, which is a terrible idea. But she got me on the ruffles again. You know, I kicked the ruffles. I kicked them. And then there's a bag of ruffles in the house. God damn it. And you can't have just one. They're so good. Um, so Applebee's. So, yeah, I guess I have to get that order in if I'm going to have that. Actually, they're open later. Chris Hare, thanks for the $4.99. It really helps. Dan Syke, $4.99. That really helps. Frank Spurley, $19.99. No... No avatar, no profile pic there, Frank. Just big F. Just a big F. Uh, that's either a statement or you're super lazy, but generous. 
Uh, Graziele Buaventura, Buaventura, 499. Ever thought about doing Y files for 9 11? Nope. T- TWA 800? Nope. Or the Oklahoma City bombing? Nope. No false flag videos. Not at least not not on on the channel specifically. Once I get ahead on videos and we have some writing help and research help and editing help, I will do those videos, but I'll put them in Patreon. And look, if you want to support your favorite YouTube channel, you could become a Patreon member today. Support the channel for as little as $3 a month. And most of that uh, that revenue does come to the channel. And uh, your your donations help us build this lovely team that we're putting together. So um, become a Patreon member today. I, I don't think I link that in the bottom of the live videos. You'll have to find it, but it'll be worth it. So... So, uh, grazie. Like, no, I can't do those because YouTube will hate those. But I, but I would definitely do them for Patreon, like Behold a Pale Horse, and um, TW eight hundred. There's some great conspiracies there, but YouTube would demonetize it. Same with Oklahoma City. Um, regarding false flags, uh, there's arguments. All three of those were false flags. We can go back to Pearl Harbor as a false flag, maybe even before. I think Pearl, Pearl Harbor was a false flag. Uh, Bruce Lico for five dollars. Is there video? You, are there? Are there videos you made of UFO incident reportedly occurred on April seventeenth, eighteen ninety seven? That's a very specific question, Bruce Lico. I'm not familiar with that one. Hollow Earth. Uh, I've touched on in a few videos. But a, a full one is coming on that. The reason that it's taking so long is that's there's a lot of research there, and I want to get it. I want to get it right, and it's such a good topic. I want to make sure that it's that it's entertaining. Cavendish, four ninety nine. How do you feel about nine eleven conspiracy theories? How, how did those just happen? See, it's definitely a simulation that those came right in together. Um, I don't want to get into it too much here, Cavendish. I you know I've I've heard from other creators that the algorithm is easier on us on the live streams because these aren't these aren't that monetized at least the ads that run on these videos i don't i don't get much from these it, you know the the revenue from the live streams comes from you guys directly so i think that's why they kind of let a lot of this stuff slide on live streams because advertisers don't care so i mean why hasn't someone thought about doing the you know, the hard, like the hardcore 9 11 conspiracy video and just rolling it through a live stream. Cause that would work. I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to poke the bear, but, uh, but that's a video that I would love to cover that Cavendish, but we'll put that up on Patreon. And look, you could support your favorite channel on Patreon right now for as little as $3 a month. Um, but if you're like someone who wants something tangible, how about, a Fear the Crab Cat mug or Fear the Crab Cat t-shirt. You can get those right now. Shop the Shop Shop.the Yfiles.com. Support your favorite YouTube channel today. Shop the Yfiles.com. Uh, did I did I say your name? Georgina Incredible. 249. Georgina Incredible. No name. <laughs> Ten dollars Canadian. Ever think about doing a vid on Victor Schauberger, his work with water and the repulse sign. Ooh, this idea is my favorite kind of weird. Mine too. Send, put that in the tips line, no name, and give me some links to follow. Vanessa Cole, what are your thoughts on the missing 411? Uh, most of them, most of them I think are just missing, but there are some missing 411 stories that, that really fascinate me. I don't cover them on the channel because David Polides does, and there's no way I can go into more detail than he does. He, you know, he's super hardcore about it. I talk to a fish, you know, so missing four one fun videos don't, don't fit in that well here. I don't want to get too super dark. And when you're doing a missing four one one video, by definition, there is a victim, you know, there's a family in pain. So it's, it's hard for him to have his zingers when there's people weeping on the couch, waiting for dad to come home. But there are some, some stories that are really interesting to me i think we could do i think we should do missing 411 on uh the what files i'm looking at jen she's nodding oh we got a we got a private chat in from jen it's private but i'm gonna read it out loud jen at 812 said i said we aren't starring any more super chats i don't know if that's to me or to victoria but it's to me 
to me. We're not starring any more Super Chat. Well, look, Super Chat last call has been, it's been called. It's up there. I'm looking down because I see their heads. I see their faces. You know, so she's down there. Wait, because remember, I can't hear them. You can. I can't hear them. So Jen's down there holding up signs. You know, get your Applebee's order in. Victoria's down there. She doesn't like jokes about fisting. I don't know why that hits close to home with her, but she takes that personally. She's got maybe a dark history that we'll have to learn about it at some point. At some point, we'll... <laughs> We'll get into that <laughs> with these ladies. Oh, my. Hell. All right. $44.99. Super sticker. Thank you very much. $44. Your support helps the channel stay alive. RM, $5. Any plans to cover crop circles? I, you know, crop circles are super fun. But I don't, I, I haven't, I don't know the right approach to it yet. If you, there, so many are debunkable, but I, I kind of don't want to do the debunk theory in the crop circles because it's, you know, so it's guys with rope and boards. That's, that's how they're made. But there are some that are so interesting that this, there's really no way that a couple of, you know, drunk Brits went out to a hay field and did that. There's no way. So I'd like to cover that, but I have to find the right story because it's crop circles have been covered so much that I want to get it right. PJ, $10. David Politi's Missing 411. Check it out. I have. I have. It's a great channel. Um, I, I don't want to blow you. I, 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 I sh you deserve more words for the $10. But yeah, David Politi's Missing 411. If you're into that stuff, you guys, his channel, his channel is, is the definitive Missing 411 channel. That's, that's the one I think, I think that started it all. How are all these? Look at this. 411 for Guamas Jones. Can you do a missing 401? And then Shannon jumps in. Shannon Fortenberry, $4.99. Um, I had a Fortenberry liqueur once. Uh, it was delicious. Have you considered covering any of the missing 401 cases? It's definitely a simulation. We're definitely in a simulation. Ashen Crow, $10. Always great videos. Let me tell you. I like, I like these comments that are just like, you know what? Say. Let me tell you, Dr. John Hutchinson and his experiments will blow your mind. Keep up the great work. Put that in the tips line. I think I know who you're talking about, but I don't want to. I don't want to take a guess and be wrong, because then that, uh, uh, then I'll hear that now and in the comments forever. Like everything I've ever said wrong, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. So I've gotten in the habit of saying I could be wrong, but I think that. Or this might not be right, but I think I can't sound confident about facts because I get slammed in the comments. Buzz Dark and Five Dollars, great show, very fun idea. River Jordan drying up and the four fallen angels. That is a great idea. Put that in the tips line so I remember. I like angel stories. I'm worried about how they'll do, um, you know, thumbnail click wise. That's why I haven't covered too many uh, like re religious topics. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my butt is like it's walking down the chair and as the butt walks the the jeans don't walk with the butt so the jeans stay up but the butt walks down so they're out of sync which means everything down there is all kind of i don't know I, now we're talking about my crotch we're talking about victoria fisting I, it's gone off there this is like an only fans stream now I mean, oh. this is it was like only fans like that my wife makes that face a lot. she does this a lot a lot. I do this a lot. Does that an awful lot? Yeah. Is your mom watching tonight? Is Bonnie watching tonight? I don't know. We're not sure. Is, I'll get a text in about two point five seconds. Do, do you want me to? Uh, want me to? I have some thoughts about her. Do you no. want me to say them on the live stream? <laughs> um. Oh, Buzz. Yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, I. I like religious stories a lot. I just worry about maybe other people don't. Um, but I'm going to start doing more of those. Hang on. I've got other stuff coming in. Uh, no, that's from earlier. Uh, private chat. No, we're good. Okay. I'm caught up. Eric, 499 Learning the super chat thing. You're learning it just fine. 499 That works. Total $7 now. Cha-ching. Hey. Um, really like your most recent end of the world apocalypse stuff. Shout out Phoenix, Arizona. Love Phoenix. Um, thanks. I'm glad you liked that one. That video gave me anxiety. 
I don't like tsunamis or tidal waves or floods. I don't like those. I have recurring nightmares about that, which I've read is an indication that you're feeling overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. John Clayton, $10. Who was that guy that made the perpetual motion machine and disappeared? His machine was investigated by so many people. Who was that guy? I don't, I don't know, John. This isn't, this isn't, you know, I'm not the answer, man. I talked to a fish. How am I supposed to know that? Um, I know who you're talking about, but I don't remember his name. Someone mentioned it. Someone mentioned him in the, uh, in the chat tonight, though. But if you throw that in the tips line, I will, f I will find who that guy is. And I, I, know who, I know the story, but I don't remember his name. It's shame on you for calling me out on the live stream. Shame. You are soul 10 Australian, Travis Walton, fire in the sky. Yeah, good idea. But the human is not going to remember. You better use the tips line. I'm not going to remember. Scott Gimple, for $20, can you do an episode on the Federal Reserve, Central Banks, etc.? That Scott, that's one that will go on Patreon because Federal Reserve and, cent and the Central Banks, YouTube hates that. Obviously, they they hate they hate that. Um, because I have so many thoughts on the Federal Reserve, so many thoughts uh, about that scam, about that scam scam of a, of an institution. And uh, going back to the Rothschilds, Ron Romero, ten dollars, giant skeletons, yep, Nephilim from Genesis six, yep, ancient giant mythology, and the Smithsonian not acknowledging the found giant skeletons, yep. Um, Ron, a video I did a video a couple back uh, where I called the Smithsonian and they and they kind of blew me off. Uh, so I asked about I asked about the giants just as a, I was asking about something else. I just asked about the giants and laughed in my face. Um, I'm going to do giants because everyone's asking for it. I like the idea of Nephilim and uh, being thrown in there. Um, the giants from from the Old Testament that that would be super fun. D Grisham, ten dollars. Thanks for more fun. You're welcome. Ever consider going a bit deeper into Hollow Earth? Yes, that's coming up. That's coming up. I saw Victoria thought I was going to make another fisting joke there with that comment, but I I, I left it alone. <laughs> uh, don't ask. It. I mean, it, it, are the kids watching? Are the kids watching? They're not still up. Don't ask five dollars. Mods tip. They are tired of fish food. All right. <laughs> All right. No, no. That's that's the big mod right there. That is that 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 is Las Mod Mejor. M one K three droid two dollars. You should do one about on the RB forty seven UFO intercept. That's a cool idea. That's the uh, that's the triangle one. If my memory serves, I could be wrong about it, but I think that's a triangle experimental aircraft. But send that in the tips line so I remember. Um, came across that a lot with the uh, with the UAV video a few back. Chris Cobb, five dollars. Have you done the Georgia Guidestones? They were destroyed in twenty twenty one, but very cryptic. I haven't done that yet. I think. Oh, hang 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 on. She's waving. That one is on deck. We are doing research on that one as we speak. So we're very excited about that. Victoria can hear me, so she knows what I'm saying. You don't, but they can hear can't, me, so they'll be very I excited. Hear, I, I can't hear them. <laughs> I don't know what they're <laughs> saying. Anything? Saying it's so really weird. Wish that I. Could he touched something. He did. Hear them. I don't know. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I almost. No. There. Anything? Yeah, I, I can't. I, I I can hear them, but we'll we'll get that we'll get that fixed for next time. Um, Georgia Guidestones, uh, you know, I better not answer that because I have a feeling that Jen just talked about it. She did. All right. D man, Lewis, who voices hecklefish. He does his own voice. Who does your voice? D man teach for $10. I love this channel. I've recently started my own channel and hope one day to grow as large as you have. Keep up the great work on your amazing content. Everyone go to T four H T teach right now. Um, for all your Yoda artwork. He does a lot of Yoda artwork, so go check that out right now. Tommy Le, ten dollars Australian. Love your videos, especially uh, where you break down the theories of you from all angles. We love a Tartara video. What in the world? <laughs> what in the world was that? <laughs> You're taking a picture of her. Oh, what is she doing? Uh. <laughs> 
it was strange. Um, so you heard me talk about Tartaria, Tommy. That's coming. Um, Tartaria is such a, it's a new urban legend. So it's still, it's still being formed. God damn it. It's still being formed. Um, but I'm glad that you like the format. I try to, I try to cover as many different aspects of a story as I can and I leave it up to you to make the decision, you know, unless something's is like tonight was obviously a fake. At, at least the alien was, people have said that the crash was real, but the aliens is for sure fake. So I just tell you that it's fake. As far as the crash on the moon, if you want to believe that there's a crash, that's cool. I'd love to see close up photos of that. I don't know why we have not. I don't know why we have pictures. I don't know why we have Google street view of small villages in Malaysia that you can only get to by boat. And yet we can't have anything of the moon. Kurt Emig, $5 just here for moral support. Well, I appreciate that couch potato night with the wife and cat enjoying the episode and stream. Well, thanks. Couch potato sounds like a great evening to me. Big Sarge Pete is back. Long live Lord Hecklefish. He is a strict but fair Lord. Entertaining pudding. Indeed. I don't know what the, what picture is that? Looks like Spock. Looks like Spock putting on uh, a Fendi bag. That's Spock putting on a Fendi bag. Oh, Jen's doing that. Oh, he's playing the Vulcan lute, most likely. Well, I uh, the, the Vulcan flute or the Vulcan lute? Skin flute, she said? No. Brian Larson, 1999. Yes, I can finally upgrade my vodka to Belvedere. No more swimming in the cheap stuff. All right, he's moving on. Uh, let me show what's your take on Bob Lazar. Uh... He, I mean, he sounds really credible. You know, all the usual suspects say he's telling the truth. You know, Dodie, uh, who spent 25 years lying, says he's telling the truth. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of whistleblowers said that he, he's getting a lot of information correct. He sounds very credible, but, you know, I don't know. He has plenty of detractors as well, but... He's one that I I don't I don't know if I would cover him because it's it's already been what am I going to do that that Rogan hasn't done? R M for two dollars. Do you plan on doing a crop circle episode? I covered that. I think I might. O G Sega Steve. I guess Schmeckelfish has renegotiated his contract for more favorable terms. He's had a lot of plastic surgery since his first few appearances. Indeed, he has. It's part of his rider. Is he gets Botox every six weeks, the lip injections as well. Um, he's still working on the lipo. Uh, McSlappy Nuts. McSlappy Nuts, 85, $10. Longtime listener, first time caller. Uh, you're flying high on the wings of Y105. Um, request lines are open. Anyhow, thanks for making these videos. Uh, me and my girlfriend watch them all the time. Keep up the good work. Long live Hecklefish. You're welcome, McSlappy Nuts. Your girlfriend lets you talk like that. You kiss my mother with that mouth. Paul is back for $10. Imagine thinking Hecklefish isn't real. He's on every single episode. He, he is. He is. And I've taken polls twice now about whether we keep him or not. I don't think we take any more polls. I think he's got, I think he's got to stay. I, you know, I think he's, I think he's part of the channel now. But, uh, but it, was some, it was touch and go there a couple of polls ago. Andrew 499, really enjoyed the channel. Thank you. Appreciate all the work you do. Thank you. Really enjoyed the Black Knight satellite episode. That episode, I if there's no way to pinpoint where this channel started to to turn, like to become bigger. But that episode is certainly a contributing factor. This thing started to get busy around then. And that was a that was a really fun episode. Um, that was a recommendation from uh from Brother Wi Files from Gino. Entertaining Pudding is back with Spock and the Fendi bag slash loot. Love the show. Hecklefish sounds a bit like Saul Rosenberg, middle-aged Jerky Boys fan here. I fell down the stairs and lost my shoes. Um, pathos for 20 euros. AJ, excellent production quality. Thanks. Excellent attitude. Glad you're around to entertain us. Glad you like my attitude. Deep like recordings. Please do a story on the Phil Schneider story. I did. I covered that in the... Dolce Base episode. I wonder, did we get a context warning on that one? 
but yeah, I covered I covered Phil Schneider's story in that. I covered him a, a few a few times in a small way, but then we just went full Phil Schneider. Covered his death and all that stuff. Wesley McCarville, ten dollars, keeping awesome. You too, proud owner of a hecklefish hoodie. Those those are a collector's item now. We can't get them, can't find those. How I don't know how anyone's out of hoodies, but they're they're out. Best wishes from Warrington Hobby Shop. Um, everyone go to Warrington Hobby Shop right now. If you're in Warrington, wherever that, if I don't know if that's a place, but if you're in Warrington and you have a hobby requirement, go to Hobby Shop, spelled the old way, ye old shoppy. Kathleen McMahon dash Quigley. Kathleen McMahon dash Quigley. Uh, $10 Canadian. Would love to hear your opinion regarding Graham Hancock's belief that advanced civilizations existed many times before a reset. Yeah, uh, it, I'm a huge Graham Hancock fan. I followed his work since the 90s. So he's a super smart guy and he researches the shit out of stuff. And the thing about the civilizations before ours, we need more evidence, but it really depends on how you define it. If if you mean an advanced civilization, meaning as advanced as ours, I don't believe that those existed because we would have evidence of that. In my opinion, if anything, we there would be satellites, no, or something like that. Because if there was an advanced civilization, they would put junk in space. There would, you know, there'd be another flag on there'd be the, the Atlanteans would have their Atlantis flag on the moon. But as far as civilizations that were somewhat advanced, I I do do believe they were there. He there's certainly the Sphinx is a great and the Pyramid of Giza are great indicators. But I always go back to Piri Reis map that that shows Antarctica and and a South America on that map when they were not discovered yet. And uh, Piri Reis, he, who was a, a Turkish explorer, said that he made that map from older maps. And his map was, I believe, is 16th century. So it could be an indication that there was uh, a civilization here that was mapping Antarctica when it was not fully covered in ice, which we know uh, happened to, you know, some thousands of years ago, at least the west, the west part of Antarctica. So, uh, so yeah, I, I like, I, I believe most of Graham Hancock's stuff because he doesn't, even though he gets a lot of hate from the mainstream, he doesn't go f crazy with it. You know, he's he's just saying that there were, that there were people before, at least before Mesopotamia, before the Tigris Euphrates, before that. I don't know why that's controversial, but, but it is. Um, but if you're into that stuff, ancient apocalypse is on, uh, Netflix. I would check it out. Holly house, $5. You cannot ever believe it. Just hang on a second. This is, this is written in millennial, uh, text speak. So I gotta, de I gotta decode it. You cannot ever believe it be just because tons of people say it is officially debunked. The Dr. Jonathan Reed case is a perfect example. <laughs> let's, let's go. Brandon. Indeed. I, I, I try not to get too political on the channel. If I'm doing my job, you, no one should really know my politics. Um, uh, I'm an anarchist, an anarcho-capitalist. Trixie Bizarre, $2. Hey, Jen, I want more How Files. <laughs> she wants more How Files. What? Yeah, How Files was great. We're going to retool that particular channel. Um, probably, she knew can I what she say, was what? saying. I'm going to say while she's talking, let me see if I can, he can't hear me anyway. Going here. So, um, a lot of people have asked us for like a kid's version of how, of the Y files. So I think the how files is going to be, uh, a channel for kids. So how things happen, how to do things, f science experiments, fun stuff like that. So that's what the how files is going to be. I'm actually going to start hosting, um, the what files in a couple months, and that is going to be a true crime channel. And we're very, very excited about that one. I know a lot of people are good about that one or excited about that one as well. It's super hard to try to, yes, I know that my lighting is terrible. I'm just sitting in my house. It's just like I'm on a webcam. Um, so yeah, so we have a lot of ideas for all of them who, what, where, when, why. 
So we are, hi, Victoria. <laughs> AJ just putting us both on here now. Um, when files, Reverend Kush is asking, uh, we'll be doing that. So that'll be a history channel. Uh, the where files, obviously, that's going to be uh, history or geography travel. Uh, the who files will be bio bio biographies. So hopefully we can do some um, interviews, live interviews with some fun people. So we are very excited about the future of the channel of 5W. So let's see, what are some people... Can you hear me now? I can't. Since I can't hear, I don't know. I don't know if you if you if you covered it all. I just saw your mouth was moving. You're good. Yeah. Trixie's all set. Thumbs up. Here's Paul. Chat can hear Jen fine. I know it's 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 my fault. I while Jen was talking about whatever she was talking about, I was trying. I I took another shot at fixing it. I couldn't get it to work. Jim Hansen for ten dollars. Uh, thinks we rock. Thanks, Jim. Tequila 69, that sounds like a great weekend. $5, the gov is not America. The people are. Go to, that's where I am in the super chats. Whoa, we are going to have to get to Applebee's at some point. Wow, okay. Um, go to a third world country and you'll see how great America is. That was a big feat ship. Yeah, I don't, look, it, there's no reason anyone who who's, thinks America is a bad country, that I can't even have the conversation. But I mean- any Western country, you think England is a bad country? You think Australia are bad? These are not bad countries. Go, go elsewhere, and 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 you'd be dying to get back to London. You'd be dying to get back to Omaha. Brian Hutton, four pounds forty nine. Love to see you cover the wonderful Bar, Bar Brahan, Oh Brahan Seer, Seer Ledger, a Scottish predictor from the 1600s. Investigate seriously. Love your show. Uh, put that in the tips line. I'll check it out. I love the. Uh, I love these um, like Middle Ages pre soothsayers, um, like Nostradamus. I don't know the Brahan Seer one, but I, I'm going to wager that I will debunk him. But. You know, it's not about the debunking. It's, you know, it's it's about the story. It's about the journey. Whoa, this is a long username. Hang on, hang on. This is Liz Slyman, Pipe, Copywriting and Content Writing Courses, $1.99. Hecklefish T-shirt is the sexiest lingerie I own. Finally, a human who gets it. Wow. Liz Slyman, uh, you do copyright, you do content writing. How about sending some of your students to the yfiles.com, have them click the jobs link. And they could do a submission for writing content. We need the help. All right. There goes Liz Slyman wearing nothing but hecklefish. Patrick Crow for $10. Love the channel. Love my spirit animal shirt too. Keep it up. So if you would like to be like Liz Slyman and Patrick Crow, you can get your own hecklefish lingerie at shop.thewifiles.com or a spirit animal t-shirt, which were designed by uh, my lovely wife, Mrs. Wife Files. Jen designed those. Uh, Spirit Animal T-shirt shopped at thewifiles.com. Most of that revenue does go to us, and uh, you can support your favorite YouTube channel. I'm going to raise the prices on those at some point, but right now everything's pretty cheap. So thanks, Patrick. I hope you send in a picture of yourself wearing that. Dutch, $1.99. Have you ever watched the movie Above Majestic? I haven't, but I watch anything uh, that has majestic in the title. I'm I'm into it. Mr. Nairo 94 um, for 200. What were sex? Are those, are those, are those Kronas? Kronas? Uh, she's looking up. What are your thoughts on Oak Island? Oak Island's a great story. Um, I haven't covered that because it's got, there's, you know, TV shows and stuff about it. But um, I don't know. If you guys would like to hear a take on Oak Island, then let me know on the tips line because there's, there's lots of stuff there that that's not covered on TV. Shadow Dancer. Um, am I the only one singing the song in my head now? Shadow Dancing. Um, the Red Mage for $5. Hecklefish is descended from the spirit in Snow White Queen's Mirror Mirror, who traces back to the Oracle of Delphi. Prove me wrong. I can't prove you wrong. That is a fascinating etymology. Backstory of Hecklefish, the Oracle of Delphi. Um... A cyborg, or Oracle of Delphi, you know, she would go into trances and make predictions and give advice to 
powerful people in ancient Greece. She was high is is why she went into tran- trances. She was just high. It was it was the volcanic fumes in the cave at Delphi that that and that's why that's that's what happened. She was just kind of stoned. That's why they those oracles died young. 37 custom toys. $10. Thank you for the $10. I was checking because it looked like maybe there was a plug in your future, but I didn't see one. ZMAG, four ninety nine. dollars Have you ever looked into the Soviet bioweapons testing? Um, I'll ask seven for a potential show. Love the show, bro. Um, I haven't. Bioweapons is a tricky topic to cover on YouTube, but if you send that in the tips line, I'll take a look. Maybe we can cover it. YouTube doesn't like weapons and death and such. Ara, Ara Myers, Ara Myers, $25, $5. I had to type in the whole name, the Y files, click search in order to find your live and I'm subscribed. They're watching. Well, that's great. Thank you for that. Um, so with the premieres, when you set them up, you could, you could put in the trailer and then you could put in, it's called a redirect where after the live premiere is over, if people stay put, it just brings them right into the, into this. So I, I did that last week, and there was almost 10,000 people in here. Because if you just sit there, it'll carry you over. I didn't get the video up until 5 a.m. this morning. And um, at that point, there was going to be no after files because I didn't know if I'd have the gas in the tank. So I forgot to do the redirect. But I'm glad you searched us out. I appreciate that. Say hi to the fam for me. Michael, no, Matthew Michael. Um, two apostles in one name. Four ninety nine. My son and I love watching your show. Hecklefish always makes him laugh. He's a big, big fin of his. Ha ha! Thank you for making education fun. He's seven. Well, I don't know what his name is. Uh, Matthew Michael. I'm assuming his name is Andrew Peter Paul, something like that. But I'm glad he enjoys the show. This human right here. This human gets it. He gets it. That's that's for your boy, Matthew. Um, John Ritterhoff for $50. I'm a fish, I'm a lover, I'm a freak. In the covers, I'm a swimmer, I'm a saint. I do not feel ashamed. I love your stuff and your cliffhanger approach. Found you last year's. Look forward to each uh, episode. I might not have seen all your stuff, but could you look at things that are true but unbelievable? Thanks for your content. You're welcome, John. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying the, the format and the content cliffhanger approach is just, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a jerk about it. You know, it's not supposed to be a clickbait type of thing. I'm trying to make it dramatic. That's really what it is. It's not, um, I, I, I don't, I, you'll never see me do a, a title of video. Like you won't believe what she wore to make this happen. Or, you know, the, the U S government, want you to stop doing this. I, you know, I don't want to do that. I, I, I hate that kind of approach. The, the cliffhangers is just kind of like, you know, old school TV where before they go into commercial break, they give you a cliffhanger because they want to, you know, after you take a leak, they want you to come back and finish the show. Um, that's not why I'm doing, I'm, I'm not, I'm not worried about your bathroom habits. I just, I'm just trying to make it dramatic and fun. Michael Boomer Boomer for fifty dollars. Tippity do da, tippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day! Plenty of money coming my way. Tippity do da, tippity a. Uh, love Project Serpo and Valiant Thor episodes. Keep going, Hecklefish Rules. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that song, Michael. Uh, so if you like Project Serpo and Valiant Thor, you're definitely into the you're into the fringe stories, which is cool. Those are those are fun. Um, look for the John Teeter story. You'll like that one. And Mel's Hole, you will love the Mel's Hole story. Everyone, everyone wants to know what's going on in Mel's Hole. That's always a very popular one. Oh, you can't hear me. Oh, I thought well, you were waving. You guys, oh, you're I waving because you want to know what's in Mel's hole. All right. Everyone, everyone's looking inside Mel's hole. You won't believe what you'll find in Mel's hole, by the way. It's not what you expect. It's slimy. Something slimy comes out of Mel's hole. Flint. 
Flint Harvey for ten dollars. Your channel makes me want more. A lot more keep coming. Hecklefish is the best. Finally, a human who gets it. Project Shaman or Shaman for two Australian. Hey, bud, will you be doing something on Bob Lazar? I don't know. I don't know. What can I do that Rogan didn't do? I mean, he doesn't have a fish. He's got red band. The fish is better. Brian, if you're watching, I'm sorry. He's just funnier than you. TJ Rowe for $5. Hey, AJ, have you thought about reaching out to Nerdrotic? Gary loves ancient civilizations. Pet the fish for me. Um, I tried touching base with Gary last week. I haven't heard back because someone on his, someone during his paranormal was, they were talking about the channel in the chat or on the show or something like that. Um, so I hit him up, but I haven't heard back. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the private chat. Victoria wants to know at 8.54, if using uh, OBS or similar, Ronan said, turn on monitor for audio input channels because a radio guy wouldn't know. That's snotty. That's snotty. Thanks, Ronan. Um, but no, that that's not it, Ronan. So yeah, TJ, so I haven't heard uh, from Gary, but he's a busy. He's, he, he's busy. He throws a lot of content out there. Uh, Jay Page, $50. My 13-year-old daughter, Allie, suggested doing a Lord Hecklefish origin story video. He's a strict, but fair Lord. Uh, we might we might do something. I mean, we were going to do a whole thing of them before the established titles um, uh, fit hit the Shan. Um, but if that if that gets cleared up, then we'll we'll go back to it. We had all kinds of ideas. He's, we've got a, a prop closet here for Lord Hecklefish. Satserve, thanks for the 999. And there's Skip Deuce Man or Deuceman. Appreciate the 999. Your support really helps the channel, by the way. And look, if you're uncomfortable doing a super chat because YouTube takes 50, 60% of the money and then taxes, you know, we get hardly any, but uh, you might want to check out the shop at the where you can get a Hecklefish for President mug. Support his candidacy. candidacy. Uh, Hope or Ho. Uh, for uh, four ninety nine, tell us about what they found under Sphinx in the nineteen nineties and since um, praying hands. Well, they found allegedly Cleopatra's, you know, Nefertiti's tomb down there, um, but the authorities won't let any more excavation happen. Now, recently, someone was just down there with with a GPR with ground ground penetrating radar and and confirm that there's all kinds of rooms down there, but the authorities won't let anyone go check it out. Uh, as far as what's under there, it's all conjecture at this point because they won't let anyone see. Um, but remember, uh, we had, uh, hang on, hang on. T-Bird, sir, $5, Nephilim Anunnaki Biblical Giants Connection episode. Yeah, there's a theory that the Anunnaki were giants. It's, it's interesting. Oh, Tiftastic499 is back. Yeah, on Twitter. I have a space pin to my profile from when I interviewed Rick Doty a couple of weeks ago. It's just for fun. I make $0. I would love to check that out. But email me, Tiftastic, because I'm going to forget. But uh, if you had Doty on, I want to listen to that. Brady Campbell, 499 I guess I missed the announcement for the What Files? I'm hoping it's a perfect fit for the DB Cooper tip I sent in. Uh, probably not. That's probably not. That's more of a Y Files thing, probably, because it's. Uh, I wouldn't consider that true crime. I'd consider that more mysterious. But um, there's no What Files announcement yet. The announcement is it's it's something we're going to do once the Y Files can get ahead on stories, because there's a lot more I want to do for you guys on this channel, but I I can't. But I will, and once we get to that point, then we'll start rolling out the what files, which is going to be mostly true crime. Arthur Gonzalez, 999. I'm from Roswell, New Mexico. The place hasn't always looked like a Spencer's exploded all over the place. Any chance of a serious deep dive look into the Roswell-Germany UFO connection? I don't know if it I, – I didn't know that there was a connection between Roswell and Germany, but uh, it send it in the tips line if, if, you, if there's a connection. I'd love to look into that. Anything new about Roswell is, is cool. People, uh, Roswell always gets clicks. Everybody wants to learn about Roswell. It's a, there's so much good stuff there. 
Sorry to hear that it's a Spencer. Spencer's exploded. It's just the whole Roswell's just all gift shops now, right? Clumsy five dollars. Would you give us a video or thoughts on the Fermi paradox? Why file style? Where are they? Um, I covered that a little bit in a very, very, very early episode. But um, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a simulation kind of believer, sorta. So. If you believe in simulation theory, then then the reason that we have Fermi's paradox is there there are no aliens because there uh, there is nothing else out there. It's all projections. Only when we get to it, do we when we measure it, do, does it become tangible, like the double slit experiment. So Fer, Fermi's paradox is a is a great. It, it's really it's really hard to get around. It's really hard to get around it. Because there should be something like two billion civilizations just in our galaxy, and there's we've got nothing. But you know we're very, um, what's the word? Uh, anthropocentric. You know, so there could be life out there that we just don't know how to detect it. You know, we're we're just smart monkeys, and they may not be smart monkeys up there. I don't know. Tomic for ten dollars. I can't find the AS fifteen picks. Can you link it, link it again, please? Um, no, but but here's what we're, here's what you can do. Go back to tonight's video. When I when I mention the title of the picture, it's I flash on the screen for for a while what the full title is. Just take that, throw that into Google, and you'll get it. If you throw it into Google Images, you'll get it right away. It's a long strip. That's how you know on the right spot. And when you go to the page, you can actually download a 200 gigabyte version of the file. Like it, you can really get a, you can really get a zoomed in picture. But like I said, the picture's been whitewashed. DJ Charlie Boy with an explanation point for a pound seventy nine. What's your opinion, Doctor Stephen Greer? Um, I, you know, I, I he's getting a lot of a lot of hate for being a grifter lately. But I mean, for the past twenty years, he was he was one of the one of the guys. You know, so I always, like, whenever he throw a pay per view out there, I would I would buy it. Maybe that's the point, but um, but yeah, I hope he's for real because we need people like that. But hang on a second, this is John Mangino for forty nine ninety nine. Oh, thanks for the tip, human. Uh, here's a tip for you: don't eat the yellow snow. That's always good advice. Been looking for someone who could fill Art Bell's shoes for years. I ain't it. The Paranormal Radio app, every podcast I can find, there is some good stuff out there. But you finally are the one, nope, to me, who is a bit as interesting and entertaining as art was. It's very nice of you to say, John, but, but there's no filling Art Bell's shoes. He was, he was a one of a kind. We'll never see another like him. It's very nice of you to say, though. And thank you for that generous tip. It really helps. Satserve uh, is back for $9.99. Building 7. I was there. Casey Yonkers, fire department, retired. Um, all right, we've got New York's Bravest right there. Bill, so you were there for, for Building 7. I had a, a buddy of mine, I don't know if he's watching right now, but his name is Gene Nicola. He was part of the cleanup crew down at 9-11, and, and it it messed him up for, for a good while, you know, going through the rubble. You know, uh, New Yorkers who were there will never will never forget it. It's what it's almost frustrating when the anniversary for 9-11 comes up and it's just like it's just a thing. Like this past year the news hardly covered it um 2021 was covered because it was like the you know the and the 20 year anniversary or whatever but news hardly covers it but as new yorkers who were there and like you uh sat serve one thing i'll never forget is the taste the taste i could still taste what the air was like for all those months you know while while ground zero burned it's crazy and the dust just gray dust and all the cars everywhere. And you just knew that it was just, the dust was just buildings and people. So it was tough. CB, uh, let's switch gears. CB for $20. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Benjamin, $5. Great show. Wouldn't it be wild if that crash ship turned out to be real, but it was actually lost human civilization. It was like the real tower, tower of Babel. That would be cool. And that's a, that's a working theory for a lot of people that, um, that our planet was seeded by, earlier advanced humans. So I like the way you think, Benjamin. 
Alien Nation uh, for six ninety nine Canadian. This is my favorite show. Keep the great work. How about a video about the Catholic Church secret archives? I've covered that a little bit with like the chrono chrono visor episode. We talked about the secret archives a little bit. I I touch on it. Uh, the secret places video. We touched on that. Hang on, hang on. So I could maybe go into that by rolling in a couple of other vault like places. You know, like like the Yale Library and some places like that where you just where you just cannot go and where the, these super secret documents are kept. But it's a really interesting topic, no doubt about it. Thanks, Alien Nation. Daniel Leo, five dollars super sticker. I appreciate that. Tony, hey, Monkets. I wish you could do a 911 2020 election Bohemian Grove 911. I know it's not possible. It's sad. It is. Um, Bohemian Grove, I'm not a huge conspiracy believer of that particular one, although there's plenty of conspiracies with the the men who go there. Um, but 9-11, no, we can't do, I can't do anything about elections. I had, I had, I did a video on why the America uses the metric system that I released a couple of years ago. It was basically an, an eighth grade history lesson on why America do, doesn't use metric. And it was demonetized and deboosted because it could affect election results because I mentioned an election in it, uh, past elections from a different century. Um, I eventually appealed it, but it took a year to appeal that and get it monetized. doesn't matter. Nobody watches it. But no, I can't, I can't cover elections. James, uh, James Sally, if you want uh, uh, election stuff, check out the FBI. James Salister, four ninety nine. Everyone, please send $5 to keep this, this chat, ch keep it, keep it going. Can't wait for the David Adder episode. Well, thanks for, uh, Thanks for asking for the donations, James Salcher. I appreciate that. Send five dollars. You only sent four ninety nine, so you're a penny short of your own request. I, you know, I'm I'm not a, I'm not a stickler. I'm still grateful, but I do I do appreciate it. Randy Cox forty nine ninety nine. You yeah, baby, slip that in my G-string. No, thanks for all you do. Uh, fantastic story. So glad I found your channel. Always look forward to your latest content. Catching up. Please keep it up. Very entertaining. You're very welcome, Randy. Thanks for the generous tip. That's very nice of you. Amy Leader, $10. Thank you for a channel that makes us think. Topic to consider, RH negative blood. Is it alien, uh, nephilim, or human, or something else entirely? I have the RH negative on my list. It just, it, it's kind of a, I got to add some spice to that topic. Like the alien angle could be a good one. Um, but I um, won't do spoilers here, but, but, that, but it's a great idea, and it's high on the list. I'm glad you asked for that because it lets me know that someone cares. Sup of my rat puts 250 of those. I don't know what those are, but it looks awesome. Please make a video about Nazis, real society. They claim they're in contact with advanced civilization from another planet. Aliens. Um, Nazis is hard to do on, on YouTube. I could do that. I could do this one though. So I, I love all the ancient, you know, the Nazi alien conspiracy stuff. The, the trick is with the Nazi videos, I have to get them out super early because they're instantly demonetized because of the N word. And so then I have to go through the appeal process, which takes a few days. So I have to get the Nazi stories out early, but like the operation high jump episode that was demonetized for, for a good while until I had it, appealed it. And, and it's not a problem. They, it's just the algorithm just adheres Nazi or Hitler. And it's just like, Nope. And, he, and you just have to go ask them to take a look. But yeah, I'd like to cover the drill, the Thule Society with the Nazis, also very interesting. Getting beyond John, thanks for the buck. Fi or fee, fi for $20, very creepy. Last vidya until you mentioned the astronaut asking control of those ash. Look, I'm going to read them as is. So if, the, if there's words missing or they're out of order, that's just how it's going to be. Let me, let me see. Very creepy last video until you mentioned the astronaut asking control. Control. Oh, asking control. If those punctuation would have been super helpful. It's fine. Super helpful punctuation. I'm just saying. I'm grateful for the 20 bucks, though. Asking control if those astronauts could still be alive, that ruined it for me. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that it, that it got ruined. I thought it added some cool drama. Uh, but yeah, that was part of the story. Mike Sim, Simbold Symbol, $5. I just want to say I love watching your show. Keep it up. Thanks very much, Mike. I appreciate the support. Angelo uh, or Angelo Javier, $5. The Martian Codex book provides glyphs that look like ancient Mayan gods and glyphs on Earth. 
you covered that yet? I haven't because there's no way that's real. But if you put that in the tips line, I'll, I'll look into that and see if we can do an episode on that. Uh, that sounds really interesting. Found hope, $5 Australian. Gross. Does that mean humanity is just one big incestuous family? No wonder the world is so messed up. Uh, I think he's talking about how all of us go back to those seven women. Um, yeah, I mean, everybody was sleeping with everybody, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how they, they got the gene pool diversified back then. What helped was the, um, the interbreeding with Neanderthals. That added a little spice to, the, to our genome, didn't it? John Bohannon for 999. You've watched many of the videos, and at this point, I am dying to know which extraterrestrial story have you come across and or covered that you believe in most. Love the show. It's hard to say because... Um, UAPs to me, the UFOs, UAPs, those are much more believable to me because they're so tangible. And there's not a lot of evidence that they're extraterrestrial, right? The sightings are mostly on Earth. Yeah, we've seen some stuff in space, certainly, but the sightings are mostly on Earth. And they seem to be coming from the oceans a lot. So I wonder if there's something going on down there. That would be interesting. Um, I haven't come across an ET story that I found very believable. I'm putting my brain on it. I'm going through them. No. No, it's hard. Because I, I don't know if I believe in, in, in extraterrestrial aliens. I think it's more believable that there's maybe something going on right under our nose, right under our ocean. TFR Motorsports. If you have any motorsports requirements, I encourage you to go to TFR Motorsports right now. $49.99. You can check out I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. You mean you just don't realize what your tips do to me. When you tip me, I can pay my bills and you make me tingle in my gills. Your tips are amazing And I think it's crazy That you send cash to me <laughs> Yeah, that one that one goes on for a minute <laughs> Penny for your thoughts Well, you, you, you gave uh, almost 5,000 pennies um, and other, and other old wives tales, possible dark origins would be cool. Tell me this is a hot dog, a sandwich. If so, why did someone else ask that on the live stream? And I, no, I, I can't do the whole story with my dad right now. Cause it's getting late, but, um, but yeah, I, I think a hot dog could be a sandwich. So we were actually talking just very recently about some of the dark, the dark backstories for nursery rhymes and some some you know very mundane stories that we grew up with that have really dark origins like ring around ring around a rosy is about the plague and some of, some of the stories like that so so maybe we'll cover that i'm glad you asked for that because uh it's interesting to me but i don't know what other people would think about it trevor b thanks for the 1999 x easy hang on hang on x x uh Thanks for the 1999. Do you believe that UAPs or should, or I should say USOs come from the oceans? See, we're definitely in a simulation, right? And I just talked about that a minute ago. There's some interesting um, on aliens underwater and NASA switching focus to oceans. Mm -hmm. uh, also, would you ever do anything on the suicide forest in Japan? No, no suicide, n nothing, nothing like that. Um, but, but yeah, the oceans. I th I, th I think there's something to that. Uh, X E X uh, uh, fella, Brenda Rush. Thanks for the buck. And, and that looks like that's your picture there. Everyone, look at Brenda Rush. There she is. There she goes. Trevor B. Thanks for the ninety nine cents. Dustin King four ninety nine. Most shows are alien slash supernatural, and I love it. But I'd love to see your spin on Billy the Kid. Um, brushy Bill Roberts. I'd love to do that. I don't know how that a video like that would do. You know, this is this is one of the reasons we need to get ahead is so I can throw a video like Billy the Kid on a Monday and leave the weird stories for Thursday night, but Monday morning do something that's just a little bit more grounded, science, history, because I'd love to cover that. 
Oh, here, here, there she is. There she is. The Who, the Who Files will be a channel. The What Files is mostly true crime. The Who Files is going to be biographies, so interesting people. Billy the Kid, very interesting. But I, <clears throat> Wild West, all that stuff, I, I just love those stories. Aaron, I'm just thinking of Aaron on my head, can't peel. Um, for $5, would be cool if you make a video about Euphrates River since it's drying up. Yeah. It's been a bit been there for uh, thousands of years, and now it's drying up. Um, birthplace of all civilization, allegedly. Patrick Duncan, ten dollars, loving the channel. Keep it the great way. Thanks, Patrick. And there's Patrick. There's his picture. Look at him. Look at him. Check him out. There he goes. Sean Clavin, dollar ninety nine. Love this channel. There's Sean playing the get fiddle up there. Go check out his channel. Maybe he's got some music on his channel. Um, you see, I like this. I like this, the attitude in this. Hey, you seen NASA moon photos, a smokestack or what? You seen that or what? Uh, Mark H, two ninety nine Australian. Now, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that yet, but I like your attitude. Although judging by the currency, you probably wouldn't sound like you're from Brooklyn. Uh, that's Teresa Edmond. There she is. There's a smiling face. Everyone look at her. Um, 3,900 people looking at your smiling face, Teresa Edmond. 1999. Uh, the Wi Files is a favorite channel in our house. That's the Edmund House. Thanks for your hard work and to your whole team. Heck of a. Wow. That's a, I mean, and after Files, is it, you know, it's a marathon. Woo. I knew it was well, coming. Because I, I, I was looking down there because she's thanking the whole team for all their hard work. And there's the team going. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, I'm a ghostwriter. You're a ghostwriter. Well, go to thewifiles.com right now. Click the jobs link and get, do a submission. And I know it sounds like I'm just doing a bit or we get a ton of them. We don't have a lot of riot writer submissions. Not a lot of good ones. So yours will stand out. And I'm going to remember your name, Teresa Edmund. Uh, she sent that in a long time ago. I hope she's still watching. I don't know if she is. Um, but I don't Jen may have to take over for a few minutes while, while we deal with Applebee's. And you just have to tell. So Gino's not in town tonight? No, no, he's coming in next week. Uh, you, 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 you do remember I can't hear you, right? Oh. <laughs> so Gino's in town tonight. No. Okay. So then, 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 then I'll, then I'll stay at the studio and, and deal with this. Cause, cause uh, he on Hecklefish's channel tomorrow, it's got a special video going up, oh. which has to do with tonight's, but it's on his channel. It's not going to be on the wife house. It's it, on Hecklefish's channel. So you can check out um, his, he's a uh, Hecklefish Moriarty on YouTube and he's Hecklefish M on Twitter. He, he tweets, he's, he's a tweeter, and uh, you can follow uh, OMG The Y Files on, on Twitter if you'd like to. All right, Jen's going to carry it for just a couple of minutes while we uh, get some. Okay. Hey, everyone. Uh, so Inner Science is Society for four ninety nine. Thank you so much. Uh, go check them out on YouTube. Looks like they have a YouTube channel. Awesome topic today. I think Francis Bacon and Neville, his nephew, maybe the Ross Crucian authors, check Pitter, Admonson work. Love the show. Um, again, send that into the tip files, yfiles.com slash tips. Uh, would love to find out some more information on that. And guys, when you put stuff into the tips line, if you have any like links or anything to any extra information, put that in there too, because that helps us out a lot. A lot of times we'll just get something that says, hey, do this topic, but there's, there's no other info on it. And give us something to like wet our whistle a little bit. Uh, Tony Hay Monkets for $20. Thank you. I love you. Your research is awesome. I wish I, uh, you could uh, search 9-11 Bohemian Grove 2020 election. Yeah, AJ's covered all of that. Uh, Rich Lawrence for $10. Love your show. Can you do a piece on the Alaskan Triangle? Mysterious disappearances, etc. Also, a separate hecklefish comedy show would be the shiz. Yes. Yes, his head is already so big. I may have to get him a new bowl because he's having a hard time fitting in the one that he's in. But we do love our hucklefish and we will see what we can do about um, having some special content that's 
Hecklefish centric. John who for $2. Thank you. Um, AJ deserves his own Netflix show. I agree wholeheartedly. Carlos Nuova, uh, Novoa for $1.99 super sticker. Thank you very much, Carlos. Thank you for supporting the channel. We really appreciate it. Uh, Pulo uh, Chilastra for $9.99. Love the channel. Keep it up. Age ranges in the chat could be a whole episode. See some people over 150. Well, if there is somebody that's over 150 in the channel, um, contact me because I would like to interview you for the Who Files. Uh, John Barry for $2. Heckle Fish for president. Heckle, you hear that? Everybody wants you to be president. Karen and McCle uh, McCleary, $4.99. Keep up the good work. Oh, much love from Naval Air Station, North Island. Thank you, Kiernan. Much love back to you. Thank you for your service. Stop doing that. I see what you're doing, and it is rude. John Ritterhoff, uh, you also look like you serve, sir. Thank you for your service. You just, you just, you just, get, you just give me a cue. Okay. Just a second. Okay. One Send second. <laughs> <laughs> sent a $50 comment earlier, but you should have Travis Tyler on as a guest. Would love to see the conversation and he can hear me even though you can't. So I am going to pass it back to the man. Uh, she's going to pass it back here. All right. I got it. I got it. All right. Let me see where, where we're at. Uh, you said hi to inner society. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. I don't know where, how far. Uh, okay. I got you. Paul Robot, uh, ten dollars. Halo Top, eat the ice cream robot commercial. I don't know that commercial, but it, it's pretty good ice cream. Beely, good nine ninety nine. Love the channel. Your videos top notch. Thank you. Maybe a video on the Beal treasure. Put that in the. Uh, I love a treasure story, so put that in the tips line. Trevor B. Uh, sorry, and I'm going fast. I'm sorry about that. Nineteen ninety nine. I went to Ty uh, NYU Tisch, Tisch for film, and I'm heartbroken. At the state of my industry, I want to get into YouTube. Please hire me, frowny face. I'm working at Shoprite right now. Also, link up with Nerdrotic, and I don't know that other one is my high school reel. Basically, all right, Trevor, I'll, I'll help you out. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on reading comprehension and writing. That's going to be our first lesson. But you know, Tish. Tish is film school. I get it. I have a lot of friends that went to Tish because I'm a New Yorker, so I'm a lot of friends that went to Tish. I don't know what you do, but we are looking for help on the channel. So go to the website, click jobs, editors, all kinds of help, whatever you like. And um, if you want to get into YouTube, I'll, I'll help however I can. Anyone who writes in, I'll give suggestions or whatever. And if if you have or had a channel, I'd plug it right here. But thanks for the 1999. Sean Clavin is back. Nine eight nine loves the show. Have you done a Lincoln Kennedy one yet? Not a full video. I did a short on it, which was, which helped the channel kind of take off. Um, Cause I love those. Uh, Sean's talking about the coincidences between Lincoln and Kennedy. And there is a ton of them. It's definitely proves the simulation. So I haven't done a full video on that, Sean, because I, I don't think there's enough there for a full, you know, 15, 20 minute story, but maybe an episode about crazy coincidences. I'm thinking about maybe, a video about synchronicities. So that could be something to plug in there. Um, restricted USCM for $1.99. Any plans on a Phobos video? I don't know if there's enough there to do that. But if you think there is, then send it to the tips line with a couple of links. And I'll look into it for sure. Connor Bernier, Bernier, $20. Did I know you did a video on 33 Thomas Street. I did. That's the uh, that's the building. That's the Titan Point building in downtown New York City. Maybe a video on the government connection to the old AT long line facilities and how some fiber optic networks run through old facilities and NSA symbols in interior. What Connor's talking about are the the listening stations that mostly are connected to AT and T, and there's something like 19 of them around the country. And they're, they're huge facilities, like the Titan Point building, the, which is also called the Long Line building in New York at 33 Thomas. Just Google map 33 Thomas, New York, and look at that crazy building. It's a skyscraper with no lights and no windows. So when it gets dark, there's just a black hole in New York City. And it's turned out that it's a listening station, something that everyone suspected 
But it wasn't until the Snowden documents were released that we learned for sure that that was one of the central listening points for uh, for the Five Eyes for um, for all the Western countries you, going through the Long Line Building. AT and T connected to that, and Verizon, and all of them. You know, reading our emails, reading our texts, listening to our calls. Uh, they said they're not, but now we, we have the receipts. Uh, Jesus or Jesus, 999, Jesus translated from Zeus equals supreme God. Uh, Jeshua was uh, born to the Virgin Mary on September 11th, 3 BC, and was first master, all right, we get, we're going deep on this, Master Mason, we got Jesus, Zeus, Master Mason, Virgin Mary, September 11th, 33 Littlewood, Carpenter, lots of stone, cl- I've never seen so many conspiracies jammed into one sentence, Jesus. That's that's a good one. I, well, the girls are doing this right now. They're all, all they're fascinated that you got all those in there. So I'd say go to the tips line and submit those fourteen uh, suggestions. Carlos Nova Novoa four ninety nine top three to five stories you're nervous about doing. Love the show. I think I if, if you watch these live stream, streams, those will come up over and over. So it's anything nine eleven, anything. Yeah, anything 9-11, we can't do. Anything false flag, we can't do. Whenever you're cruising around, any flat earth, we can't do. Whenever you're cruising around YouTube and you see the context warning underneath, that, that's a sign that it's not a topic that, you, that we should do. But, you know, once we get ahead, we'll put those on Patreon because there's a lot of good stories out there that YouTube won't let us cover. Sergeant Fighter for 1111 Discovery Channel last year. Outstanding. Thank you. This Marine and former pro boxer gives his stamp of approval on this channel. And I tell everyone about it. Congrats on your 1 million subs. Godspeed. Well, thanks, Sarge. It's number five. Nick P. Cage, Mojitos, uh, $10 Canadian. You're an amazing dude. Keep doing what you're doing. That's very nice of you to say, Nick. I'm a big fan of yours. Hold on, Jesus. Jesus is back. I, 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 I don't know if it's a new one because. It's the same message or if I clicked on it again, but uh, I'm going to leave it up there for a second so you get your $9.99 worth. I can't read it again because it's bananas. Richard James for $1.99. Do a story on a book, on the book, Morning of the Magicians. I love when people just command it. Command it. For $1.99, thy shall do mine story. Put in the tips line. Kegs underscore. $20. $20. I'm confused as to how you can hear others with, without an earpiece and not have it come back through your mic anyway. Kegs underscore, you pay $20 just to uh, express your confusion over my audio issues. I appreciate the support. Um, I guess I can work through it now with you. If, if you, if we can do it together. I can, you know, we can troubleshoot. It probably has something to do with that. Done a, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that now, but, uh, but well, I'll get it fixed for next time. I don't know if it's going to be next week, but we'll get it fixed for next time. Michael, uh, boomers back for $10. I'm going to get a hecklefish tattoo. I dare you. I dare you. Picker. It's not true. Jesus is back again from 999. Uh, Jesus, Zeus, Supreme God, uh, Jehoshua, Virgin Mary, September 11th, Master Mason, Crucifixion, 33 Little Wood. I mean, this this is only like 30 words, and there's 10 opportunities to be demonetized in that one comment. So we have a new record. Stone Kind Bud, keeping it cloudy, 499. Did you hear about 29 scientists killed in 2017 by four robots for the military? I have not. And that's not funny. Why are you laughing? That's not funny. That's a tragedy. Is that why they made all those robots dance in the viral videos? Uh, you, when you watch the Boston Dynamics videos, how are you not terrified? Um, they released one just a couple of days ago. It was bananas with their robot like jumping all over. They're, they're definitely going to kill us. Um, Stone, do me a favor, Stone Kind Bud. Uh, send that. <laughs> said that I, I'm just laughing at the name because what popped in my head was uh, last week we had Haywood, and his last name was Jablomi. And I, I said, Hey, Jen, what's this guy's name? Said, hey, would you blow me? And it was just entertaining to me. Um, so, Stone Kind Bud, uh, do me a favor and send that in the, in the tips line. <laughs> Because that's super interesting. Hey, would you blow me? She likes that. All right. I didn't catch. Yeah, there she goes. Dustin Springmeyer, five dollars. 
how do you feel about psychedelics? <laughs> but we're, we're closing it out strong here with the algorithm. Psychedelics and enlightenment experiences, I have developed a protocol to achieve them consistently. Um, I'm interested in your protocol, Dustin. Uh, I don't want to say I'm a fan of psychedelics because I don't want to promote illegal drug use, but I am a believer that's, that psychedelics are useful and helpful to a lot of people. And I'd love to do a story. So you have to excuse my eyes going over here, but I have to see where the, where the Applebee's driver is. I'd like to do a story about how possibly the turning point for where, where humans became sentient, you know, from just from simple primates was that there was simians in the forest that ate the raw mushroom and they just, and their pineal gland like exploded and just sent DMT all the way through their bloodstream. And then we emerge from there. I think it's a super fun theory. I'd love to co love to cover it. I can't do it on YouTube, of course. Um, but I'm a believer in that stuff. I don't want to say how much of a believer I am because we do have kids watching, but, uh, but I feel you. End times drops two hundred dollars in the bucket. What? Sweet Daisy Moses, I'm gonna be in a new tax bracket over here. You ain't kidding. Taxes are theft indeed. I'd love to see more about America's civilization's mysteries. Okay, I like those. So, I, you know, I, it helps to hear that you that you like those too. Because the the tips line is full of UFOs. Like it's so many, so many UFOs. But once in a while, we get, you know, we we get something in there that's just completely out of left field. Like the Moon Eyed People was a great suggestion. Never heard of that. Um, so that's that's a video we didn't did about a year ago check out the moon eyed people that's a that's a america mystery for you there end times joe fall 50 bucks Ooh, i finally love hearing a phrase just a tip <laughs> oh that's a spicy comment can you provide information about admiral Byrd's statement on the television show chronoscope in which he discussed the supposed existence of a hidden continent located beyond antarctica and his belief that it was the size of america um joe fall so he's talking about a famous interview that Admiral Byrd gave after uh, coming back from Operation High Jump. What it's now, this is the, this is what they say. What he meant was they say is that he was talking, he didn't say there was a hidden continent down there. He was concerned about um, our enemies using the poles as a way to get aircraft and missiles and all that stuff coming up there. And he was worried about that. And that became misconstrued as, him talking about a hidden continent. That's the official statement. I've heard his interview. It reads, it sounds like there's a little more to it than that to me, you know, listening to the interview and you, and you guys can watch that on, on YouTube. It's fascinating. Um, so I think he, I think he meant that there's a little something more, but I do think the Admiral Byrd story is blown out of proportion. Um, but I also believe there's stuff down there. You know, I don't believe it was completely covered in ice. I think there's a, I think there's a lot going on down there, and it's curious why nobody is allowed there. And people have argued with me online about you could go to Antarctica if you want to. You, you can't go to Antarctica. You can't just roll up in your, you know, in in your boat and you know, and 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 anchor and just and stroll around. They won't let you do that because it, it, it's, it could create an ecological disaster. You have to appeal to the governments that that are part of the treaty to get permission to go down there. And it's rarely granted. And that's interesting to me. RPM. Thank you for the 999 of those. Sounds like a lot, but I don't know. It could be $3, which is fine. $3 is good. Jim and gel E bean day one super sticker. $2. Thank you for that. Well, thanks to the amazing mods. That's Victoria. Y right there? Oh, and they're raising the roof. <laughs> The roof is on fire. Burn, mother effer, burn. That's right. Uh, thanks for the great mod. The Victoria is a fantastic mod. That's that's Mrs. Wildfiles there. That's Jenny. Uh, who else do we have today? I saw the Zanithos in there. Johnny B. Good was was on hand. Uh, was Daniel around? I didn't see him. Daniel wasn't there. Uh, Luli Kins was there. Mm -hmm. We get uh, everybody. Wendy. Wendy. We didn't get her. We got everybody. Wendy. Uh, well, they can hear you. They can. I don't know what she said, but they can hear you. 
Eric Neumann, Newman for six ninety nine Canadian. Hey, did you hear about the time the U.S. government tested carcinogens on civil on civilians during the Cold War? Happened in Winnipeg, Canada. I didn't hear about that. Um, not that specific specific issue um but hit me up on the tips line because i like stories i i like stories where the where the government abuses its citizens i really like those um i stay away from the things like tuskegee and some of the darker ones but but mk ultra never these the stories of the government experimenting on the citizenry those never go out of style so uh so send that in i'd like to learn about that super zeus juice three by the way, Zeus is connected to Jesus, who is connected to a master mason connected to 9-11. FYI. Jacob Tally Tally for $20. Tally. March 1st, 2023 is the 50th anniversary of Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. You should do a video about Dark Side of the Moon and Wizard of Oz. If you love mushrooms, watch the video on YouTube of it synced up together. I don't have to. I've, I've done that in I've done that in I R I R L, Jacob. I've done that I R L. So yeah, what he's talking about is you. You, if you sync up that song with The Wizard of Oz, it's it's a trippy experience because the movie seems to be in sync with the music, and it really does, um, especially if you're altered. Arthur Stewart, thank you for the twenty dollars. I appreciate that. Juquendo, nineteen ninety nine. The channel is awesome. Thank you. So is Hecklefish. Can you cover the City of Gold? Uh, yes, but submit that on the tips line so I know what you're talking about. I think he means El Dorado. Johnny Ohm, $10. Yes, missing 411. Wow, still behind, huh? Missing 411 video would be awesome. Real cases of missing people in national parks globally. Huge cover up. One child went missing and found 20 plus air miles over, overnight without a scratch in his feet. Yeah, you hear that all the time. And I bet he was found without his shoes. For some reason, the kids never have shoes. They're found miles away, little kids, miles away on a mountain, no shoes that survive somehow. Yeah, the 401 stories are crazy. I don't know if I would cover them, Johnny. I talked about that earlier because um, there's always a victim. But you could spend a lot of time on uh, David Politi's YouTube channel. There's Super Zeus again. Jump Room to Mars seems right up your alleyway. Uh, yeah, I, I'm into it. At first, I thought you threw a poop emoji in there, but that's just a, that's just a, a brown thumbs up. So I appreciate the brown thumbs up, Super, Super Zeus. Reckless Conduct. $20. Don't fist hecklefish again. Jason A. Holbrook, $5. I love the balance. How about an episode about anything underground? Yeah, I, I, I told Jen no to that a week or two ago, but if you guys want stories about un the underground societies, I'll do those because I'm interested in that. They're everywhere. Um, I have a great book called The Mole People. I think it's called The Mole People about the underground society in New York City because I'm from there and it's 30,000 people are down there. And I just re learned recently that that Vegas has a large underground society as well and they're everywhere. Cleveland, Ohio has all kinds of caverns and places underground that uh, it's fascinating because they have like abandoned, a whole abandoned subway system there. In Cleveland, who, who'd have thunk it? So yeah, send that in the tips line just so I know that you want that. Brandon Lewis, $5. Have you heard about the guy who claims to have traveled through time and found an unreleased Beatles album? I don't know that guy. And I thought I knew all these guys, the Andrew Basiagos and the, and the John Teeters. I don't, I don't know that one. But uh, definitely send that on the tips line because when it comes to YouTube algorithm and click-through rate, time travel is gold. Carlos M. Santos, $10. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Love the channel. Recommending to all my friends. Spread the word. Spread the love. Let's make it like a venereal disease. Victoria Clark Eakin, $4.99. Hecklefish, you're my favorite spirit animal quality. AJ's awesome too. Well, that's very nice of you. I like it. I like it a lot. He likes it. Kowalski for $19.99. Thank you for the tip. This human knows what's up. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. I, I don't know exactly what that means, Kowalski. But I like all of those things. I see Battlestar Galactic coming right back to Ronald, uh, Ronald P. Moore with the great Battlestar Galactic reboot. Arthur Stewart, $10. Yes, we would notice if you took a week off, exclamation points. Thursday, Wife House is a big deal in this house like so many others, but please take care of yourself. You see what you did there, Arthur? We, 
we look forward to it. My family, we build our whole week around the Y files. We, everything, we, the kids take off school. We put on the merch. Everyone's got a tinfoil hat. We cook a little meal right in front of the YouTube and we don't miss it. And without the Y files, our family would crumble, but you go ahead and take a week off if you need to. Wolf Runner $5. My wife loves your channel. So I would, so if you would say hello to Michelle, my loving wife of 19 years and counting. Wow. That's a long time to stick it out, huh? No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure she's lovely. Hi, Michelle. Um, Wolf Runner is your husband's uh, name. You hate that he uses that, don't you? You just want him to be Steve. But no, he's Wolf Runner. Look, I, I, uh, I'm Steve during the day, but I'm Wolf Runner between the sheets. Jake Montez for $2. Thank you for that. Dean Courier for $10. One of the best shows you've done so far. One of the best shows you've done so far. Thanks, Dean. I thought it was fun. I don't know what's going on. It's pandemonium. It's pandemonium. Joe Kerr, thanks for the thousand clips. My Little Bird Houses for $10. The names. I don't know. I, I, that looks like an album cover. Is that, is that your band? The My Little Bird Houses. This is Sankey Heraven, 50 bucks. Everything you do is amazing. Thanks so much, thank you. I'm embarrassed reading that, but I really appreciate the the generous tip. Vince Coronado, $4.99. It doesn't matter what you do a video on. I'm going to watch it. Love the channel. Thanks so much, Vince. It's nice of you to say. Um, maybe I just have to have faith in myself, but I don't, I don't have that yet. I don't, I, I don't, I don't have it yet. Jake Montez is back. Best channel on YouTube. I, I, I don't know if this is the best channel on YouTube, but I think we're in the top 10. I'm, I'm just, I'm just kidding. We're, there, there are better channels than this, but I'm glad you like it. Joe Kerr for 2,500 clips. Any chances the Denver International Airport cheers from Chile? Yes, that's high on the list. I haven't gotten around to it yet because, um, really, because it's 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 very mainstream. It's not it's it's not that conspiratorial, that weird. Um, so I'm trying to find the right right way to approach it. I think I have it. So that's coming soon. It looks like we have reached the end of our of our super chats um i and i don't know how many people are in the regular chat it maxes out at ten thousand on my end so i just see tiffany can't sleep she's trying to boost my confidence don't do that when my wife is watching joseph loves the channel uh there's uh 3481 oh no i i only get to once it gets to ten thousand cat Cat. He was trying to get out. Bean. Um, that's Bean. Yeah, once it gets to 10,000 messages, it, it, it caps out. Oh. Oh, she said. Um, so I'll work on the audio for y'all so we don't have this screw up. I'll work on getting the browser back so we can look at stuff together like the Loab crazy lady. We got a couple of hecklefish things in the hopper for the next live stream, and the next live stream, I think we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of contests, which not cheesy stuff. It's basically gonna be you you put you, you type a word into the chat, and YouTube randomly picks somebody, and we'll give you a hecklefish for president mug or something like this. And it, look, if you don't want to wait for the contest. You can go to shop.thewildfiles.com right now. You can get your own Hecklefish mug. They're not expensive. You know, we keep the prices low. You can support your favorite YouTube channel. Oh, I didn't know that she was still up there. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. There she is. There she goes. So a couple of things planned. I don't know if we're going to do this again next week. Uh, if, if you'd like to do this every week, let me know. Uh, if you don't want to, just don't say anything. Don't say anything. If you'd like... The after files every week, let me know. But if you don't want it every week, best just to not say anything. Because what are you going to say? Eh, it's fine, but it's too much. It'll hurt my feelings. So that's going to do it, everybody. Thanks for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Remember, be safe, be kind, and know that you are appreciated.